here. Sorry for the delay. I had some stuff that I had to take care of before I actually started the stream. Okay, so fix that. Fix that. Get that swapped over. Now we'll get back to Team Kerr. All right, let's go. All right. Last time on Battle Network 5. Uh, what happened last time? To uh, Toad Man tried to get into the Undernet. And he tried, as he was trying to do that, Cur uh, Colonel got kidnapped by Cloud Man. Now, without a new leader, Land was volunteered to be leader. After deciding for a bit, Rebetta decided to go into Undernet, so we're chasing her down. Or don't anyway. Alright. And I did some cleanup because I had a Nebula code and I got a few things, so yeah. On to the Undernet. Ah! Oh, sorry! Sorry! Uh, did you... What? What is it? I'm in a hurry. Did you see a frog navvy on your way? A frog navvy? Ah, that navvy. I didn't talk to him, but I did see him running inside. He looked like he was in a real hurry. So Toad Man did go to the other. Hurry, Mega Man. Okay. Wait a second. You're not planning on going up there, are you? Hmm, that was the plan. You can't be serious. I can't believe you don't know. They come out up there. Come out? Who? Well, isn't it obvious? Ghosts. Ghosts? Yes, ghosts of dead people. They're all over the place. And they come after you, too. If they catch you, they possess you. Huh? And if you have a virus battle when you're possessed, it's really weird. I can't explain it, but it's all wrong. It's like you can't move your body properly. And you use a lot more energy than normal. You get irritated for no real reason, too. But basically, it's kind of like some kind of curse. You're listening, but do you understand? You do, but you're still gonna go... You're still not gonna turn back, right? Uh, fine. I can't say I didn't warn you if you come out a cropper. If, if you come a cropper. Okay. Well, goodbye then. place is that scary, then we can't li leave Toad Man there. You're right, let's hurry, Lan. Uh-huh. I mean, again, this is like the fifth or sixth time we've been to the Undernet, so... Yeah, I'm not that worried. Oh no, I'm cursed! But there is a subject dealer, and I don't really need anything. Okay, let's see what this curse is like. See my portrait flashing there, but I don't really know what it actually does. Let's start with this. Let's start with anti damage. Oh, whoa! You can see I'm jumping all the way from one end to the other. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to. I meant to actually turn into Tomahawk Soul. How long is this going to stay on me? There it goes. I forgot about this whole curse thing. Alright, I can easily get this done. Air hockey, go! We got Sanctuary already? Wow. Got a single bug fragment. Alright. 
Metfire EX, Scarab. Uh, I think I should... I think I'll just go Waka Whirl and go from there. I don't know what the curse was. It wasn't jumping around, that's for sure. Ah, uh, more curses. Don't know how much it's really affecting me now. Okay, Whirly EX. I actually can't use Guardian right now. Shade Man is my best option. Get them both out of here. Again, have no clue what this curse is. Sometimes. Not here. Not there. Uh, I think we go down and around. Up here. Blue mystery data. I can't hit the baddie in the back. Shade Man, get the Whirly out of here. I noticed the face changing to like the almost desperate, desperate one, where that's where the dark chips would have showed up. I think. That HP memory. Very nice. Let's try going up here. Okay. Under net two. I know there's a few more blue mystery data under net one, but we'll explore more there later. Okay. I have to go this way. Okay. I think I'll go Tomahawk. Then I'll grab Air Hawk. That will allow me to get the Metar in the middle. Okay, I got rid of you. You see, like, he threw the bone, and now, like, it's, like, chasing me around. And then you hit him, he's like a dry bone, so he'll break apart. And he'll stop the attack. Dead end. Yeah, okay. Wrong way. Let's head down. Where's this lead? Blue mystery data. Reg up three. Not bad. Hmm. I think I'll use my two fire hit ones. Now that I'm in the Undernet, the fire hits are not dealing enough damage, even with the Tom Hawk soul. I almost need needed to grind for uh, fire hit twos from the one liberation mission. Mystery data. A single bug fragment. Very nice. Did I just make a circle? Yeah, that's a circle. Okay. Okay. What to do? Honestly, I think I'll start with going with number one. 
I could get more chips later, and I'm gonna use Aqua World. I think using these breaker chips would probably be the best. There we go. Yeah, I took some damage, but it's okay. Okay, we can't go up. Where's this take? This takes me to this uh, bolted board. Mm. I could try to get rid of. Oh, wait. You know what? No, no, no. Hold on. Two for one. would also heal him as well. Okay. Oh, what's over here? Bug track trader, here it is. Oh, we could buy sneak run, that's nice. Anti-water, HP plus 300, attack plus 30. Giga chip, giga folder one, bug charge. Okay. So, ooh. Buck charges are Giga Chip. However, how it works is it'll actually use your bug fragments, I think. I don't. We will have to get it, but I don't want to use it. Oh. Attack plus 30 is so good. But I think we'll actually benefit from having Sneak Run. Eventually, anyway. I think I'm going to save up for Attack plus 30. And then the Giga Chip. Neovari. Okay. I knew there was another bug frag trader around here somewhere. Alright. Did we get a power boost? No. Oh, we on water tiles. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I didn't want anti damage to hit that guy. Oh well. Wait, I should. What does Scully do? Confuses enemies if hit. Hmm. You know, I just kind of thought of something. I don't actually use the program advanced that often. It's not that great. I am wondering if I should make these all the same code. Well, they don't really pair up with anything else anyway. Except for Guardian. Hold on. The program advanced by itself is actually not that great. Oh, I only had one more fire hit. Oh. That's the one I would want. Okay, I'll leave it be. Cactaball is kind of in a similar situation. The program advanced, while I think is better, I don't really use it that often. I think I'm just going to make them all the same code. And I think it might be time to get rid of some air shots. Or Scully, I want to try that. Katana is not a bad idea. Do 
uses and music games. Most of my stuff is S code. Most of it. So it's not bad. What's my mega chips at? I can't throw any of these in just yet. I mean I could throw that in, but it's not that helpful. Good man, Cosmo Man. C code. Fun man. Man, I can throw in more S codes with Sanctuary. If only I had Shadow Man SP. Because that is way too weak. 120. Although, honestly, it's better than Blizzard Man, I think. I barely get use out of Blizzard Man, and this way, at least I get to pair things up a little bit. I can have one more uh, mega chip. Anyway, okay. Green mystery data. Cuss sword R. Okay. What's over here? The teleporter. Drop one curse in purse. Purposely ran into another basically. Alright, we get to test Scully out. Let's try this. Scully, go! I have no idea what happened. No, that's right. Okay. I'm getting rid of all of the ice tiles and my broken tiles. Just made it to area three. All right, let's test this out again because I was a little confused. What does it mean by confuses enemies? Oh, whoa! It actually confuses them. Oh, I can get use out of that. I don't know why it confuses enemies. That's definitely useful. Alright, area three. Gonna make a save. Have to go that way. What's up here? Another purple mystery data. Should have bought another unlocker. Sweet, the we I think we have the max uh, range for Navi customizing. Run, battery, collect. I could throw collected, but I'm not going to. Sugary, HP. Problem is, there's nothing that I really want. I can't throw these in. now. Never planned on using that. But I have air shoes. Is it going to be helpful? Probably. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I just think it's better to have than HP. Let's see. Let's go 
Desert Tomahawk. Then, oh, do I want to use Fire Hit? Won't kill. I can't at least confuse them. I think confusing might be better. Swing in and then aim my damage. Wasn't sure if I was gonna make the charcha in time. What do we got here? Program dealer. Okay, we got fish, custom another custom one, jungle, reflect. We finally found reflect. Bug stop. Yes! Yes! And it's a white code too! Get out of here, air shoes. You were not useful while you lasted. AKA, I didn't actually use you. Oh, wait, uh. I have to do this. Swap those. And then I think we're good? Yes. My hunt for reflect has finally been completed. Oh, Untrap finally activated. Invis? Huh. Okay. Well, if you need more, yes. Ooh, some new enemies. They're all fire. However, I still get benefits for going with this round. Couldn't test out Reflect just yet, but we're getting there. And Fire Hit, oh. All right, I'm going with my original plan. Making these all the same code. I'm making a save. I just bought Reflect. What's up here? Oh, hey, it's Toad Man. Toad Man, I knew you'd come. Let's get everyone together and fight the Nebula Navies. What's the problem? We just came in here to bring you back. Time to go home, Toad, Toad Man. That's pathetic. Toad Man, let's do them a favor and open their eyes. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to open your eyes. W wait, no. And we fight. Okay, so Toad Man starts out underwater. But then we'll jump on one of the lily pads like it's Battle Network 2. Start with the area grab. Let's get a Shadow Man going. I mean, it's still, it's better than Blizzard Man. At least the tadpoles are not actually activating. Alright. I remember the tadpoles in Foul Network uh, 2, and they were more annoying than Toad Man himself. Alright. I don't think this is a good idea. Come on, man, go! Alright, he creates his own water tiles. Oh, when he does his punch, he has to show up some water tiles. Okay. Mega Man. You're on form again, Ribbit. Now you can do it, Ribbit. Toad Man. Look how far he's gone for you. You have to accept now, leader. Oh, it, it was none of that. Rebecca sure put us in our place. She told us to come here because she could change your mind. The others should be along soon, right? Most, most nappies will be too scared to even come to you for that. But this kid had the courage to do that and take you, and take you on too. Huh. Crazy, really. 
but it seems to have worked. The only way to get a fighter fired up is to fight him. Toad Man and Rebetta have been desperate to make up for what the, for what happened. You can't turn your back on them now, or Barrel either. Toad Man, Rebetta, my eyes are wide open now. I was too weak and all I could think of was running away. But now I see that the only way forward is to keep fighting. Let's get this mission started. Yeah. Uh-huh. Toad Man, now that's decided, you better deal with that door. Okay, Ribbit. Hold it, Toad Man. Leave this to me. I can break through here in no time. Move over. Three, two, one. Wah! Tom Hawkman, your grass. That thing's a wall of fire. That it's not gonna work. Ugh, it didn't budge an inch. What's going on? You can't open that door with force. That door's made out of anger and hatred, you see. If you try to open it with violence, it won't work at all. It's just one thing you need to open. It. The power to neutralize it. The power to heal. Hey, excuse me, Ribbon. Behold, the toad, toad recital with it. <laughs> My songs have the power to heal. They do? I thought they just had the power to paralyze. I'm gonna be honest, this makes more sense with Team Proto Man, because you get Medi, an original character who is straight up a nurse, so it makes way more sense. Incredible. Okay, leader, we're late, ready to go, Ribbit. You can start the mission anytime. Obviously, I'll be coming with you. Toad Man, yes, of course. Right, everyone, it's time to start our liberation of Undernet 4. First things first, Nightman, I need you to stay b back here and look out for the enemy. Is that okay? Is that you asking a favor, or is it an order? It's an order. Stand tall and issue your commands. Nightman, you stay here and look out for enemy reinforcements. Now there's an order. I put my life on the, on the line to defend this area. Land, when you're ready, let's start the mission. Sure. Aw, oh, why'd you leave Nightman behind? He's our tank. He stops other attacks from happening. Anyway. Let's start the liberation mission. Let's, I said let's start the liber liberation mission. W what the? It can't be. What's wrong? Colonel, you're alive! Wait, he's acting funny. Colonel? So you're the enemy of the officials, huh? 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 What's he talking about? Colonel, it's us, your friends! Master Regan saved my life. I pledge my loyalty to you. Protecting this area is my task. Oh no! Did the Dark Lords modify him like they did me? Looks like it. That means we have to fight through all of the panels to get to him. It will be easy with so many Dark Panels. This is gonna be a tough one! I guess it's my turn then. What, do you have a plan? I'll sing Life Melody and make you all much stronger. You can liberate five squares ahead. Nice. My liberation capability isn't very high. This will give me a great boost. It's a plan. Now it's free Colonel from Nebula Forces. Roger. This mission is to liberate within ten phases. Go! Yeah, so Toad Man... Also, Toad Man also uh, has the ability to save. So, Toad Man's now our save bot. Life Melody. Everyone can then liberate five squares ahead. Like one, two, three, four, five, sort of thing. Okay. How Medi works is a little bit different. 
kind of serves a similar po purpose, but honestly not as great. How Medi works is you do like a link thing where she sets up this square and fights and liberates it, quote unquote. Then someone needs to go to an the other side of that straight line, liberate this square, and then everything in the in between gets liberated. It's a little bit weird. Honestly, I think I'd rather just have the five squares. Uh, okay, so we could have Shadow Man go here and open this way. If I use Life Melody, we have Shadow Man do that. If we don't get a one turn liberation, then I need to have probably Number Man do this. Toad Man, Mega Man. Something like that. No, I mean, uh, Tomahawk Man, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So either that or I have Shadow Man go here. Open that now. And obviously, there's going to be traps everywhere. If you have Number Man, there's traps. Alright. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Oh, it's only for one one character. Okay. I think it's still a better idea to go with Shadow Man. Let's see if we can get a one turn liberate. Okay. Air hockey go. I mistimed it. Okay, honestly, that could have worked. I just didn't time it right. I just didn't do things right, but that would have worked. That would have been one turn. I'm not going to reset for that. All right, number man, you got to open up this path. So, is it whatever the dice rolls and then times two? Honestly, that makes the dice block even better. Honestly, the dice block in Battle Network 1 was really, really bad. Oh, wait. I don't even need to fight this guy. I can let Tomahawk Man, like, deal with that. Alright, let's try it. Start with a tomahawk swing. Or I get air hockey going. Yeah, let's get air hockey going. Get rid of the tank. You. Doesn't matter that it's not a one turn. It really doesn't. Fragments, yay. And I I am not gonna use longsword. No. No, yeah, I'm not gonna use longsword. Let's just hope this is not a trap. Or if it is a trap, I'd just rather it be damage. Okay. route 
this. guys this is not gonna be a one turn but with fire hit one there we go and we get a trap 50 damage I'll take it hey there kids who wants to fight me first Taking out this guy. Oh, what's the plan now? I could use Life Melody again. And then open up this path. It's not the worst idea. I think maybe having Mega Man open this up is probably a good idea. Fight that. Um. I think a key is probably somewhere over here. Either there or one of these two spots. God, there's so many traps here. Hmm. The other option is to just ignore this guy and not and save my order points. Um two, three, four. It would take all of my guys. I don't think that's a good idea. Bring everyone closer. So I can have Shadow I could have Shadow Man fight this again. And then have Mega Man do this. And then have my other two units work on getting rid of this guy. Yeah, okay. Save. Right, Melody, let's try on Shadow Man. Again. I don't know if Shadow Man's the right one to use this on. But it's something. Oh no! These guys! Okay, um. What's the best way? something. Start with Shade Man. There we go. I lucked out with that counter. Okay. I want Mega Man to be the one to do this. with a invis no anti-damage invis fire hits i'm risking it no one turn but that's not going to matter all right Good second side. And there we go, Shadow Man Cup. And that heat disappears. Order points, yay! I need more of those. If I get rid of him, he won't respawn. Number man, let's open the way. No one 
turn, but that helps. There we go. No one turn, but at least he defeat he, de he opened the way. Come on, man. Get rid of this guy. Swing for 120. Or. Scully? Never mind. Oh, one turn. That was close. Alright. Got rid of another boss enemy. Didn't attack, really. Alright, so here's the problem. I'm probably going to have to number check these. Wh I don't know which one's the key, though. But I also got to open up this way. And I almost need to... That's the thing, I need to get to here. If I were to use Shadow Man, I can like open this path. One, two, three, four, five. Or this path. Then have Tomahawk Man or Mega Man do this one. And then Tomahawk Man does uh, for this one. Could do that again. First, before we do that, we're gonna make a save. What is the chip that's here? Let's try. Anti recover. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I need Shadow Man to do this. I know I keep using it on Shadow Man, but I think he's like the best one for this. Uh, yeah, we'll open this this way. Doesn't really matter, but we get an extra square out of this. One turn liberate. That left out. Order points. And Zen. Very good. Okay. I think I'll have Mega Man fight this guy. Tomahawk Man has a better shot though, but I think Tomahawk Man is better off fighting the the panel itself. The dark hole, whatever. Okay. All right. Hold on. Uh, I can make this work. Set up anti damage just in case. Set up guardian. Uh, I messed that up. But that's what anti damage was for. One turn liberate. And we get a battleship. Anti electric. A battleship. Oh, the electric ball thing. Okay, spin shake two. And a trap. And Mega Man can't fight for another turn. Well, we made it work. And feeling something like that might happen. So, I think in this case, we are better off using Tomahawk Swing when we get anti-damage going. Two for one, get anti-damage. 
number check. That was a trap. And that's a HP recover. Okay. okay. Mega Man can't do anything. That could be the key. Any of these could be the key. That's the tricky part right now. I think it might be best to have... I think it might be best to have Shadow Man go here and open this panel. And if that's not the key, we'll number check one of these sections. Like either here or here. And go from there. I'll, I could save a little later. Best case scenario. Next. We got the bird. Who has a dark panel tied to it? And you know what we can do is we can stand like here and Tomahawk swing and open this up. Or attack here. It doesn't really matter which one. Then we have Toad Man and Number Man. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh. I think it would be best to open this up. Okay. I'm gonna Tomahawk Swing, I'm gonna use it later. Let's start with Aqua World. One turn liberate. Not that it matters. It doesn't work with Tomahawk Swing for whatever reason. Whatever item was there, we lost it, but that's fine. Okay. Now we gotta get rid of the bird. I think it would be best if Toad Man's the one to fight, maybe? Yeah, we'll try it. Gonna make a save. Let's go. Oh, it's not a bird. Okay, that's that changes things. Seeing and paralyze the enemy. So if I remember correctly, this is the electric song one, and then his charge shot is where he goes underwater and punches the guy. I think that's what it is. Oh, shit. oh it's Shadow Man. Okay, well I gotta go for it. I give her something. And it auto locks too. Okay, I'll take it. And then we use that at the wrong time. Roll. Get my heal. Get some healing back. Defeat the boss. Charge shot the skeleton. Oh, I left out there. I think because I wasn't on the screen, the the bone just went flying. Wait. Hold on a minute. 
come this square got deleted? It wasn't one tur one turn. Like I understand why. Wait. Yeah, it's whatever surrounds the. No, that's right. That's right. Okay. I'm done. This one doesn't take. Cool. That must be a trap. Because I've seen it to where it gives you the item. So this must be a trap. Let's number check this. Diamond panel and barrier key two. I have a feeling how it is, is this dark panel is this guy. Either, then that means I probably have to get rid of this guy. How's the game going? It's going good. We went through the undernet uh, a little bit. We are, oh, we're near the end of, we're about to fight Colonel. Uh, I got the Reflect Navi Customizer part, which I forgot that I have until just now again. Uh, other than that, it's going okay. How's it going, Tyler? Uh, right now, I think I need to get rid of this guy. Tomahawk Man is the best for that. But then, I think Mega Man would be best here. So, I think, or Toad Man could work. I think having Number Man be the one to do this one would be for the best. Because I don't I don't really need Number Man anymore. Okay. I could number check. And I think I'm gonna do that. Or number trap, whatever. Not a one turn liberate, but hey, it worked out fine. And hey, hot corn dog, how's it going? Uh, you were doing like finals or something, right? How's that going along? Just that last semi final. Oh, okay. Maybe both of you were. Yeah, how's that all going? Already almost done with this liberation mission. Alright, Tom Hawkman's got this. He's got it in the bag. First, come guarding. And he's out of here. Easy stuff, I could definitely come. Very nice, very nice. Alright. So we have Toad Man, Mega Man, and Shadow Man. I think I'm gonna have Shadow Man destroy this one. Reward for finals. The ads. This is actually just not a good setup. Um, this really isn't that good of a setup. At least get rid of someone.
but you think you did well. Well, that's that's something. I mean, you won't find out for a few days, but that's something. Okay, let's make a save. I'm going to see if I can get Toad Man to destroy this. Yeah, I hope you guys all did well. And just, you know, get all of that done and out of your head. And now you can focus on other things. Let's do that. Sadly, I just need to get rid of someone. That someone is the shield. Just the enemy type I did not want to come back. Again, out of all the enemy types to come back, yeah, I did not want the shield guys. <laughs> Alright, now we can start going after Kirk. And now I'll use my long sword to open the path. Okay. Fine, um. Start with my air hockey. Oh, you know what? I should have used more cannon first. And I still got the one turn. Not that it mattered. Yeah, it's just Colonel. All right. Sadly, Toad Man is very weak right now. Everyone else, though, is ready to go. I'll save Toad Man for last. Right now, time to fight Colonel. Colonel, do you recognize me? You look familiar to me. Why am I so nervous? I know that you are the enemy, so I must defeat. Your barrel's navvy and the leader of our team. Why? What is this? Why do I hesitate? Master Regal is the one I serve. Master granted me my dark power. Now I get the chance to try it. Right now! Alright, what do we got? I guess we'll start with Tomahawk Soul, I guess. And then Fire Hit? Sure, use up some of my chips. Come on. I can't reach you when you're all the way back there. That was close. Uh, let's go this way. Right, he'll create blocks. And if you stand in front of them, he sends in, like, sentries. Like... Scully? Sure, Scully. Let's just confuse Colonel for a bit. Granted, I don't know how Scully confuses people, but hey. Those of you follow for very nice. I'm out of ammo from your second gun, so I left mid-battle to get more come back to the fight. Uh, so did the boss's HP, like, fully heal or something? Or, like, did it keep, did he keep his HP? Like, how does that work? Okay. I think I'll start with this and then we'll... to the first turn. But first I shall confuse him. Nope. Okay, I did not realize the shuriken actually uh like 
dozen uh, invincibility frames. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Like, having one less area to work with sucks. Okay. I guess we'll try Tomhawk Man. How's the stream go? Okay. We'll set up anti damage and we'll get Tomhawk Swing. that up. Luckily, one more tomahawk swing should do the trick. There we go. And then now that I'm out of school, I'm trying to convince me to start playing Final Fantasy XIV. Oh no! That is the worst mistake you could do. Now you'll never be able to do anything else. It's the power of justice. They keep the HP because even if you're not there, the backup you had continued to play. Oh, okay, I see. When you come back, every bad guy was dead, and all you had to do was wait for the one robot to attack the other robot and blow up the bad guy's HQ. Very nice. Target 10, actual 6, and we get... We got the Z-Saber. Honestly, it makes sense. Yeah. Colonel! So this is the dark- so the dark power hasn't quite taken its hold yet. Huh. That's Cosmo Man! <laughs> Let's go, Colonel! Colonel! You still don't have him back yet. You may have won this fight, but you can always savor your victory for a few days now. <laughs> Just a few days. We didn't manage to get Colonel back, Ribbit. Yeah, but at least we know he's still alive. We'll make sure we get him back somehow. Yeah, I'll get him back, Ribbit. Toe Man, you're so positive all the time. I'm impressed. And that's all it takes. Just positive. Well, positivity, I guess. Now we have Toad Man's soul. Everyone, the final battle with Nebula is drawing near, but before that, we must get Colonel back. Then we can all take Neb take on Nebula together. That's all. Dismissed. Uh, what's bad about 14? Oh no, it's not that it's bad, it's that it's so good it will drain your life away. It's not bad, it's just that it absolutely kills free time. Exactly. Meanwhile, at the Fortress of Doom... Ikari, you were tight-lipped to the end. However, your efforts have all been in vain. It, it cannot be. Your father was a great scientist. Even I didn't realize he had disguised the Hikari report as a dog. Regal, what are you going to do with Gao? You're going to complete Soul Net. Soul Net? But if you did that, uh, the world would... Yes, my utopia. An utterly evil world shall be complete. I never imagined Soul Net would turn out like this. Father, forgive me. Behold, Hikari, a Lectopia stained in evil. Just generic evil. It's regal. Move Nebula Gray to the third ex EXP server and transmit at max speed to the micro servers. We planted in Electopia. You may halt dark chip production. Yes, that's right. Everything's ready. Now, Hikari, behold the fruits of my experiment. Your evil plan will fail. <laughs> Your hope soon will turn into despair. And you will once again see just how weak people are. You must tell the nation it has begun. Get the camera. Yes, Doctor. Yeah, I hear people who play Final Fantasy XIV, like, are addicted to it, like, they can't leave. Just unplug their electricity, yeah, that's all they need. Yeah, that's all you need to do to rule the world.
Lan? Lan! What's wrong, Mom? Your dad. Oh no. Regal's on TV now. Regal? I just saw your dad behind him. What? I am Dr. Regal, ruler of the new world. You, the people of Electopia, are the lucky subjects of my grand experiment. Don't be alarmed. It won't hurt a bit. Rather, you'll feel the joy of being freed from bondage. Your time has come. Just do whatever you want. In a few minutes, you shall be free. Regal, he's putting his plan into motion. Land, wait! Sorry, Mom. I know it's dangerous, but I have to go. Take this amulet. Gramps always kept it with him. I'm sure it will protect you, too. Thanks, Mom. Comparing this to my friend, I thought he... Uh, you had thought about playing it before, just didn't know about the free trial. Yeah, I just know if I were to jump into it, I would want to continue, but I can't really do the whole monthly plan sort of thing for, for so long, you know what I mean? Bye, Mom. Be careful. Don't worry. I have Gramps' amulet now. Let's go, Mega Man. Roger. Also, I still want to play Final Fantasy XI. And I know if I try to play 14 and then 11, I'll be disappointed. Hold it right there. Shut up. Shut your trap. Hey, give me back my pet. No way, it's mine. Besides, you stole it from someone else, didn't you? I can't get, I could get away with anything. We're nothing alike. I said, shut up. It's mine, I tell you. No, wait. Huh? Land over there. Over there? You know, I really never did like you. Well, I can't stand your face. You're so annoying. Why is everyone fighting? This isn't right. Might be part of Regal's experiment. Something's gone wrong in the real world this time. There's trouble in this peaceful city. I'll, it'll get messy if it goes nationwide. So basically, he started the purge. Lynn, you got mail. Wonder who it's from. There's no sender listed. What does it say? Here it goes. This mail is for all anti-Nebula core members. Nebula is placing microservers micro in Cyberworld all over Electopia. Destroying those servers might possibly stop Nebula's attack. The closer you get to one, the more it will affect you. Be very careful. That's all of it. Who sent that? They sure know a lot about Nebula's plan. Based on this mail, I bet other members are spreading out to look for servers right now. Or it could be one of Nebula's traps. And we can worry about that later. If what that mail says is true, the microservers are hidden somewhere in ACDC town. Right, we gotta set things straight in ACDC town first. Mega Man, let's go find these microservers. So they just make everyone not be polite anymore? Is that what it is? <laughs> money! 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 <laughs> oh, now she she has gone full greedy. And what about Dex? <laughs> the whole world is mine! Everyone ha has to obey me! Me! <laughs> wow, Dex. I didn't know he wanted to take over the world. Just go away! I just want to hit everyone I see! Did they say the same thing? I'm so angry. Hey, you, get out of my face. What are you waiting for? Moo. The sight of you sickens me. Ah, hate, hate. Uh, kind of lame, honestly. All right. We got to find the hidden server. If I remember correctly, it's actually in this fake tree. Because I remember, like, spending a long time trying to find the server. I think it's in here. There it is. Man, I think I found a server. Megman, you must destroy it. Roger. 
I remember spending so much time trying to find this one, and I couldn't find it for the longest time. Number Man, you're here to destroy the server too? Nope, my target is you, Mega Man. What? Number Man, is the server affecting you too? Thanks me, what gives? I can't stand how you pretend to be so righteous, huh? Number Man, delete Mega Man, huh? Me Higsby, have you gone mad? Snap out of it! Better say your prayers, Mega Man. So how come we're the only ones not affected? Here he comes, Lan. You got no choice. Get him, Mega Man. Battle routine set, execute. Mega Man, stop struggling and let me just delete you. Is it the amulet? Is the am amulet preventing us from be being angry all the time? Because I can't think of another reason. Let's throw down the guardian. Punch him in the face. Set up another trap. Yeah, go right ahead. Set up another one. I'm okay with that. easy to dodge. Uh, we'll just set this up right here. Oh, look, time bomb. Okay. Punisher and, well, anti-damage in some ways failed. But it worked out anyway. I think we'll go with Mark Cannon. He's not using his number balls. It's kind of weird. There they are. Okay. Off the world should be fine. Get out of here, number man. You're not. You're not you when you're hungry. Now, Mega Man, the server! I'm on it. We'd obviously be fighting Search Man if we were playing Proto Man, Team Proto Man there. You did it, Lan! Uh, uh. Higsby! Man, what did I... You okay now? Phew. You had me worried there. Is Number Man okay too? Number Man's fine. Sorry for all the trouble. I felt this dark... Dark feeling wailing up inside me, and then I suddenly lost consciousness. I apologize for what I've done. Don't be sorry. I'm just happy that you and Number Man are okay. Good work, Mega Man. Jack out. ACDC Town should be okay now. Now to, now to Barrel's plan. Wait. Now to Barrel's to think of a plan. We have a new map. Oh yeah, the to toad stole. Okay. You have a charge shot and it does the electric song move that paralyzes enemies. Let you hide in water when you're on a water tile. Also use A to power up water-based chips, doubling attack power. So this one is a weird one. It's a water soul where the charge shot is an electric move and not a water move. It always, like, it's, it's both good and bad at the same time. I just remembered. Because now that we have Toad Soul, I could throw in Dark Wide. Molly, you're fine. Stop it. What to swap it out with? Hey, 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 stop. You're fine. My dog wants attention. She's a very needy dog. Uh, very needy. Hmm. I can get rid of Buster Up. I don't need that. It was just kind of filler anyway. Hey, Molly, come on, that's enough. Come on, come on. Hold on, I gotta give her attention. Come here, Molly. She's very needy. Come here, come here. Come on, up. Up. Oh, you found the bone. Found your bone. Go get your bone. Never mind. She found her bone. Oh, 
own world was I doing? I don't want to talk to anybody. Sorry, but my head hurts. I better go lie down. Was I saying something strange? So, Tyler, if you're going to be playing Final Fantasy XIV, what job classes are you going to try to go into? Why is this here? And just whose pet is this? What? Why is this here? And just where's my pet? Was I saying something embarrassing? Come on, tell me! Nah, your greed was just showing. Honestly, if I were to play 14, I'd probably go something like a Black Mage. This is usually like the job class I like to play. If not that, then like some sort of monk. I'll find a clip about some voice actor now. What? Um, what's going on now? What was I doing? I remember I said terrible things, but why? I was so angry just a little while ago, but now I feel perfectly fine. What happened? Basically, Dr. Regal's just letting everyone just vent and get rid of their pent up aggression. That's what's happening. Oh, my head. Why is my head hurt so much? Alright, Barrel. Barrel, are you okay? I'm okay. Go check the other areas for damage. I will. By the way, you sent that mail to everyone, right? Mail? What are you talking about? What? That mail must be... You better go check it out. Let's go, Mega Man. So, Barrel's not the one to send the info about the servers. Interesting. Anyway, I think we have to go... I don't think we need to go to Oran Isle. The mail said Electopia is in trouble, but nothing's happening here. I guess it's because nobody lives here. Yeah, exactly. We don't have to worry about Oran Island. Now, what is this silly painting of a plane? The way it's flying, so happy-go-lucky, makes me mad. Just reasons why everyone's angry. You stole my candy. Give it back. What? That was mine. Don't you remember? It's mine, okay? Wait, does Mr. Quiz say anything? Damn. Why the heck did I come in last? It wouldn't be Quiz Master. Crown me Quiz King. What were you looking for, Hawkbone Dog? Wait, do you say anything different? No, you don't say anything different. I didn't know you were so selfish. I don't want to see you anymore. That's my line, you stinky, uh, stingy, stinky Scrooge. At least I ain't too short, shorty, shorty. Dang, that was harsh. Let me tell you the truth. I don't like you. Never did. That's fine, because I don't like you either. Ugh, he's panicking. He's running around like an animal. Why stop now? What a piece of junk. Work for a chirp. Work for a change, silly computer. How could you force me to work on such a low salary? Is it fair. Uh, is this like the lamest plan out of Battle Network so far? Just make everyone angry? You scientists always make crazy demands. Who do you think you are? What is that? You can't even answer a simple request. Shut up. Here. Nope. Okay. It's in one of the micro servers. So let's check. Let's check here. Over here. Oh, look. Nightman's guarding it. Why? Mega Man. Nightman, get out of my way. I don't think so. No one touches the sword while I'm still here. Huh? Aren't we on the same side? I am not your teammate. I am just a knight seeking battle. And I am hungry for a fight with you. Can you satisfy my battle lust? Ungar! Here he comes, Lan. We got no choice. Battle routine set. Execute. I guess we'll start with... No, let's start with Aqua World. 
We might as well use Toad Slow while we're at it. Turn that into a water tile. And then I can paralyze him for even more damage. Well, that's a good setup right there. Uh... Okay. I'm gonna wait for him to jump before I use these. Turn Nightman's very easy to ma manipulate in that case. Air hockey, it's Shade Man. Apparently this dude named Justin Briner voices Deku. Oh, okay. He asked fans to stop making him stop asking him questions about ships gone too far. Oh, no. Uh, honestly, I don't blame him. Shipping does get go too far. It causes way more problems. Get out of here, Nightmare. Honestly, I think you could tell a show is like going downhill is, is when they really focus on the shipping. No! I've been defeated! Quick, the server! We did it, Lan! That's that. Oh, Pride! Lan? Ouch, what are you doing here? You okay? Yeah, I, ca I came after that mail about the servers. But then I started feeling all weird. I'm okay now, though. I see. Well, it's all clear now. We've destroyed the server Nebula Planet. You're amazing. Pride, is Nightman okay? Oh dear, are you hurt? Did Nightman do that? Uh, never mind. Okay, Mega Man, let's go find the next server. This person's... Yeah, she's right here. I wonder what happened to me. I, I just don't remember. Is there a server? Okay. Is there a server at the boats? At the dock? Let's see. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk to anyone right now. For some reason, every everything I say is negative. Wait, doesn't mean it's still in effect? Hold on. Wait, come on, anybody! Let me hit you, come on! Oh, nope. Yep, there's a server around here somewhere. What the heck? Cream Bohemia for me, is for me and me alone. I'm heading for to Netfrica. Go on, get out. Don't want to shoot. Don't waste time. This is an all-around-the-world cruise. Just point the ship towards Nettopia. Um... I'll make it dirty. I'll make it dirty. I'll make it all dirty. She's smearing trash on the wall. Better to just leave her alone. Oh, hey, there's Dingo. Lan, you're here to destroy Nebula server? This server is inside the net battle machine. Well, then, no time to lose. Let's find it. You know, I wanted to battle you here a while back. There's no time to bring that up. I was not able to battle you then. Wait a second, Dingo. I get a wild urge to battle here. I can't control this feeling. I gotta battle someone right now. Land, battle me and Tomahawk Man. So if we have to take them on, they're gonna check in no matter what. <laughs> so do you want to take us on? You're going down. Let's go, Mega Man. Battle routine set, execute. I'm gonna crush you. You know, you know what would be funny about this? He's not actually being manipulated by the machine. He's just actually just wants to fight you now. Harry the Strong. Uh, when someone asks what he thinks about some character named Harry, be with Deku. Like, I, again, like, I don't care. It's like. Like, why do we care about this sort of thing? I think I might save these. Let's start with Aqua Roll. Oh, I could... Wait, can he be paralyzed? He's grass. He's a grass elemental. 
Yeah, I have not kept up with My Hero Academia for a long time, so I'm out of the loop on, like, who this Airy character is, I think. But it's like, who cares? Yeah, people just need to freaking chill. Not yet. Not yet. We will, though. We will. to go Dark Chaos Unison. Now, might as well ready. All right, Dark Toad Mode. That charge shot was 300 damage. Because apparently his smile just fades as the fan asks him the question. Honestly, I can see that. I can see that perfectly. I can see that happening. Oh man, Lan, I'm not going down yet. Nice, this doesn't look good. Mega Man, jack in, destroy the server, quick. So again, how Dark Unison works, or Chaos Unison. You become, you become a dark version of that form and your charge shot becomes the chip that, you know, you Chaos used them with in the first place. You have to time your charge shots right. If you hold it for too long, you fail, and then Dark Mega Man shows up on the other side of the field. Lan, I found it! Hurry, destroy it quick! Wait, Lan, I lost the net battle, but I won't lose the in a fist fight! Mega Man! Okay, that's kind of funny. He's just, like, gonna th throw hands now. Lan, are you okay? <sighs> that was close. Well, if it isn't Lan, what's eating you? You have a lot of nerve asking that. You were the one trying to slug me. Hmm? I don't remember a thing. Oh yeah, what about that server Nebula Planet? Already smashed it. Huh? When? Never mind. Mega Man, jack out. Fallen Banner drop. It was engage and Blazing Blade. I mean, okay, I figured engage. Blazing Blade, that's... Yeah, that's FE7. Who are the characters that dropped? Who's the fallen character, and which e and which engage character is it? I mean, theoretically, it could be fallen. Uh, oh, what's her name? The Dragon Girl, Ninian from FE7. Hey, kid, eat those cookies! If you don't, I'll smack you one. Jeez, angry much? Just like. Don't eat those cookies. I swear I'm gonna slut punch you in the face. Are you trying to get me in trouble? I think you are. Yeah, yeah, I'm not that silly. I should take a GoPro and film people attacking them and hold them up. Yes, this is all blackmail, pretty much. Just shut up and do what I tell you to do. Who the heck do you think you are? You better shut up and listen to me, buddy. It was a. Oh, it was Dragon Mom and Vale. Wait, are they both fallen, or is it a one of those team-up ones? Yeah, for whatever reason, Lan's the only one not affected by this. Because, you know, plot armor. Okay, it's not in the dumplings. Could be in any of these? Hey, this armor is mine! Keep your grimy hands off! The helmet and the katana are mine, too! Got it! <laughs> so it could be in any of these spots. Um, yeah, actually, I can't think of any other jackins. No, wait, no, there's a security camera. Both fallen separate characters, I see. Fallen Ninian dropped two years ago. Okay. This year, it's just base Nurgle and... Morph Ursula? Okay. What do you mean by Morph Ursula? Not in there. Is it in the helmet? How 
like how we just never remember the dragon mom's name in Engage and we just call her Dragon Mom. No one, re that's how unimport unimportant she is. We just never remember her name. I am actually trying to remember her name and I can't. It is like that unimportant. I want to hit something or hit anybody. Let me smack ya! Let me smack ya! Let me smack ya! You tried to push me off, didn't you? Well, you tried to throw me over! Honestly, this just feels like, uh... California, honestly. Why, you? You got a lot of nerve bothering me! Now scram before I slap you, silly! Fairy Nurgle was able to open the portal through this world and tried to take over Hero's world, with Vale working with them for the time being. He fails because they just forcefully close it with the help of them. Oh, okay. And everything makes me so mad. I hate that gold folding screen. And I hate my ugly hairstyle. Well, if you hate your hairstyle, then change it. That's a simple fix. Or does she know that she's a scientist girl and she can't change it? like a meta commentary. You gotta smash this painting. The national treasure? I could care less. It wouldn't be in there. Is there it has to be in the micro servers. And that just leads to the home page. God, I hate everything. I want to destroy it all. Game, Nurgle just used a revive corpse of all the enemies that you've slain. Okay. That, but just Ursula. Apparently, they were strong enough to beat some of the heroes' OCs. Ursula, we could stop by the Blazing Blade Trio. Okay. So it's ba it's undead Ursula. Okay. Wait, so where's the micro -surf? Okay. I did check the security camera. I checked the katana. I checked the the dumpling maker. I guess we'll check here very quick. Looks like it's not affecting here. If it's not affecting here, then it's not going to matter. I just checked in there. Okay, that's not one. That's not one either. I already checked the armor, the uh, the katana, and the helm. We can't, we can't go in there. But due to the nature of heroes, she's just unconscious. Wait, why isn't it actually just undead Ursula? Right, I just go straight here. Okay. Ugh, I saw him feel like I hate everything. I can't buy subchips from this guy. Oh no, though. That monster Nurgle. Okay, I gotta be more thorough. I'm missing something. Your dumplings are way too firm for my sauce. Get it right. Your sauce is way too sweet for my dumplings. Get it right. I feel like I would have saw it by now, but... Again, I just better double check. Dark wide. Let's see if I get this to work. <coughs> I use this all the time. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the more you attempt to use the charge shot, 
the smaller the window of using the charge shot becomes. So making it harder and harder to pull off. Meaning you're more likely to actually activate Dark Mega Man. My heroes can be brought back from the dead in heroes. Oh, uh, okay. I see. Not in the dump leagues. For sure this time. Let's double check the armor. I want to break that armor to pieces. What's the point of taking care of this kind of junk? nothing happens if you let go of the charge before. It's when you hold it for too long is when it becomes a problem. I could have Sneak Run. I could use Sneak Run. Actually, I just remembered. I can... I have Reflect. I keep forgetting I have it. Fallen Veil uh, gets stopped by Fallen Lilith. After basically saying, I pity you once she learned her story. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, do they have any sort of, like... I thought they'd be derived by, like, hatred or something, the fallen characters. It seems like they have at least control of their hatred, I guess, is the best way to put it. Okay, let's check the helmet. Huh? You want me to give you a tour of the helmet? Why do I have to hear stuff like that from you? What an obnoxious little navvy. Fallen Dragon Dragon gets stumped by the mom of the two MCs of the game. They have a mom? This is the first time I'm hearing about, like, the main character's mother character in Heroes. I didn't know they added her in. Or they created one for them. Whatever. Oh. Not here either. I'm a net navvy roaming the cyber world in search of an anti-damage F. Do you have one? If you do, I'll trade you my, an my anti-damage for it. But I don't have anti-damage F. I like how he's not affected by the anger. Maybe it's one of those cases like the Hulk. He's always angry. He's so angry trying to find anti-damage F. And he can't find it. So he's just like constantly angry. Meaning he's in full control of his emotions. Because that's how it works, right? Size story where he tries to kill him, Minion and Nils, but Duma shows up to test the strength before getting bored and leaving. Honestly, that I, I could, that makes sense. I'm sick of having to deal with tourists. I can't take it. I'm gonna quit. And then Duma just shows up. So is it like the final scene where he summons the dragons, and then Duma just shows up out of nowhere? to test how to reflect. But so far, I've been getting good chips to start the fights. Been meaning to test out reflect. Alright. Double check those. I'm 
going to double check the this. You find out or Nurgle Scroll and said, that's it? Got no plan after absolute power? You lay my power. Yeah. I'm gonna smash this paint. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Yeah, it's just one of those cases where it's like, and what are you gonna do after that? I don't know. I didn't think I'd make it this far. It's like, once you have the power, what are you gonna do about it? Are you supposed to do something about it? Too bad I can't use, uh... Can't use, uh, reflect on these guys. Oh, I love the design change. That looks cool. That wasn't 100 damage, was it? 130. Wait, it only does 50 damage now? The summoner just isn't there. Right now. Really? Strong enough to take down some of the OCs and heroes, but apparently we'll get owned if anyone important shows up. got a nerf. It seems to deal 50 damage instead of 100. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I checked all the spots. Anyone over here? No. Again, I feel like I checked everywhere. Um... It didn't seem to affect the home page. I guess we'll probably check the dungeon. But first, let me double check to see if I can get anything here. Nope. Alright, I guess I'll check in here. If it's here, it's at the very end. Hey, at least we don't have to go all the way back to the drill comp. We'll go with Aqua World. I hate that we got a nerf. Reflect finally got the nerf. I still think it's probably better to have it. Isn't 
first time they overhype fallen characters. They do it every time, and sometimes they're meta breakly. Lately, they peaked since Fallen Ale Guard. It's been mostly we good, but nothing you can't be. Ah. Uh, I see. So now that they have peaked, they have to come up with a new type of Fire Emblem like category to make everyone turn into now. A new job class. We've had fallen characters, but have you heard of ascended characters? I guess, I don't know. You know they probably tried something like that. the new meta, the Ascended Heroes. Aqua World, go! I don't know if I'm going to be more or less annoyed at whether or not if it is in here. If it is in here, then that means officially they kind of broke the rule. And they put a... Uh, a, a serve one of these micro servers in a spot that's completely different from all the others. And you have to go through another full dungeon you have already been through before. But if it's not in here, then that means I've just wasted my time. And then I also gotta figure out where the actual thing is. Oh, there's a blue mystery data I missed. Begin the effect where he just steals your buff, so clearly he kind of sucks inside of that, so he's not hard to kill. That's interesting. You think him stealing your buffs would be make him really broken. But if he himself is not that great, I guess that's the balance. Mystery data. I didn't realize I missed it. Blue mystery data? HP plus 100. Become guardian and move down? Yeah. There we go. Honestly, this is not the worst folder. I can make it even better by swapping Aqua World with, uh, what was it? With... My Kaiser. Side Bubble. Because it's also an S. However, while it matches up with my other chip coats, this creates water time. So there's a trade-off for both. But it only creates water tiles if it actually hits something, so... Uncle Man can't really... Or Toad Man can't really utilize it, can he? Hmm. Also, I thought he was a grass elemental. 
Maybe that was battle number two. It doesn't suck, but he's not as tanky as they make him seem to be. But he buffs his allies. So he's not a tank. He takes opponent's buffs and he buffs other people. What's his weapon type? Can't use reflect? Oh my god. Why would you do that? It's not my timing. They actually nerfed reflect. In the sense that I can't even use it while I'm in my soul changed. Oh my god. That is annoying. I, I seriously cannot reflect? I seriously can't reflect. It won't let me. Not only did it get a power down, but I can't use it when I swap to another soul. The game is forcing you to go through a dungeon all the way through. Here's your Mega Buster, Roger. The server stop. Shadow Man, you fallen under Nebula's control too, Shadow Man? Maybe it's just you and me. I don't think we can reason with him. Mega Man, looks like we gotta fight. But, uh, you're no match. Ugh. You can only steal, but okay, hold on. So fast I can see is because Christine gets like buffs he can steal. So he gets bullied. Or buffs he can't steal. Oh, I see. You only steal buffs that are bonuses and your team relies on com in combat buffs instead of bonuses. I see. So, one thing I'm gonna do. Anti-damage, Shadow Man, or Cannon, Dark Toad Man. Let's just use the Shadow Man ship right now. I'm that wrong. I wasted it. Oh well. I guess what I could do. Go, we can actually go Toad Soul. You also only get Chaos use it for one turn. Let's try to paralyze it. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yeah. Get out of here, Shadow Man. 
And again, a, a water elemental soul that's char shot is not a water elemental. It's like I don't I don't like it at some points. Ross. Shadow Man? Shadow Man, you used to be a sensible man. You already shut down a server. What's gotten into you? I just wanted to have a full-on battle with you. Though it said I'm Though I said I joined with you, I'm really alone with you. I can't accept defeat, but I'll proceed you have some skill. Dusk. I'm gone once this latest fuss is over. <laughs> Let's go, Shadow. Yes, sir. So, is it implied he was actually in full control of his actions? He just wanted to fight you? Picking it up. H hello? It's barely. Destroyed all the servers at Nebio Plant. A scan of the affected areas reveals that the damage has subsided. Great news! Not so fast. The real problem awaits. Real plot problem? Nebula, Nebula uses the service to transmit a signal that blighted evil feelings in people's souls. We now know the source lies on the Undernet. The Undernet, eh? I'll check it out. Land, we detected Colonel near the signal source. He's fallen completely into Nebula's hands. If it comes to a fight, do not hesitate to believe him. Barrel. If I find him, I'm gonna drag him back by the scruff of his neck. Enthusiasm. But destroying the signal source is, uh, is the prime objective. Understand? Got it. I'll contact you when we're done. Bye. Okay, Mega Man, off to the internet. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. That's what Dusk is doing. He just really wanted to fight you again. So we have to get to the Undernet. I guess we just have to take the long path. To, even though I have Sneak Run, I don't think it's going to help. So... I'm just going to have to deal with all the viruses along the way. There was at one point where I was able to get three charge shot, three of those charge shots without activating Dark Mega Man. It's a very small window. You know what? Uh, since we're going to the Undernet, I'm gonna use a trap. Maybe we'll get a good amount of money. So Regal's plan is to make everyone angry. I don't think it's that great of a plan. There's obviously there's obviously more to it. Not a great not a great plan, honestly. There has to be a faster way into the internet. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to use Shadow Man for that. Let's try this. Scully, go! To undernet again. There really needs to there, there really needs to be a faster way. But since we're going into Undernet 4, we'll probably 
be able to fight Toad Man. But shit. Green mystery data. And we get bug fragments. Need more of those. How many do I have? 27. Yeah, I need to save up for uh, attack plus 30. Hey, Spider Sonic, how's it going? Uh, we are at the point where we just, uh, everyone's angry because of the servers, and now we're off to the undernet, and Colonel's blocking the last server. Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. And uh, we're getting close to end game. Excuse me, what are you doing over there? It, is he gonna give me another dark chip? Cause I don't, I need more of those. I need more options. That's blue moon and red sun. I mean, I, I did it with blue moon and red sun. It took a while, but I did it. Had to do four playthroughs for it, but you know. Honestly, Battle Network 4 is really tedious. I am one I am one of the five who guard the undernet door beyond. You must endure our trial before you can open the door. Break the trial? Nah. You said return when you wish to break the trial. You might as well get this set up. Let's try it. Are you including the secret chips as part of the 100%? Uh, I did that in Battle Network 4, yes. And I will probably do that here, too. Although secret chips just require a uh, uh, folder compare, right? More or less. Um... Might not be ready for this. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm good. Okay, turn everything into grass tiles. I just need, I need to get rid of one enemy or two. Now I'm doing better. I better just stand here and heal up. It'll take a while. Okay, now it goes a little bit faster. I'm so used to Witch Soul, like, just being rapid fire with HP recovery. I'll get to 100. Again, I think the difference is Woodman is like a being of nature. He is actually made of wood, so he heals a lot faster. Versus, versus uh, Tomahawk Man, who is just kind of like one that surrounds himself with nature, you know? Double Team DS just have to be base Omega. And Omega form is for the final boss in Nebula Area 6. I have never played uh, Double Team DS. Isn't it just like both ROMs on the same uh, cartridge and you also get to swap members to the other game? You must defeat all five to open the door. Seek my brother in the cyber world. Oh, I got full heal anyway. Okay, good to know. Like, I have both GBA cartridges. Is there any reason I need to have double team on the DS? That the GBA the, that the GBA games don't really do. I know it does the swapping swapping members in the liberation missions, but while cool, it's not really a uh, a must have. Let's 
also, how much is Double Team DS going? It's just both Team Purple Man Colonel on a cartridge, and yes, you can swap characters from one team to another. It can allow base form if you have 100 percent Battle Network 5 on GBA and put that GBA. Oh, I was going to ask if they did the any sort of cartridge compatibility like that. And that's actually a cool reward. Which is funny because I'm close to 100% kernel on my actual GBA cartridge. So if I buy Double Team DS, I could literally just get the one last thing I'm missing. And then I could get base stuff. Soul Cross if you have Octai 2. Oh, okay, that's cool. I don't have any of the Boktai games, so... Now, if I'm correct, you can activate those souls by just going to... Uh, patch cards, I believe. I'll look into them after I beat the game. Two soul battle chips if you have Octai 2. Like, are they exclusive? Is it not just Gun Soul? No matter how good you might be, evil will never disappear. Look at Nebula, that's the proof. Yeah, uh. Battle Network 4 brain. Each playthrough wasn't that long, but the fact that I just had to play it four times, it really drains you. Gun Soul EX and another Soul Chip. Oh, okay. Again, is that the only way to get those chips? So it sounds like if I get Double Team DS, I have to get myself a copy of Boktai 2. Yeah, I figured. I figured the patch cards were how you get them now in this version. But yeah, it sounds like Double Team has some cool features and cool aspects to it, but it doesn't sound like a must-own if you already have the GBA cartridges, like I do. But hey, at, you know, at the time, that was the only way to be able to use, like, Base Cross and... What was it? The Boktai Cross one? So, I mean, they were technically on the GBA cartridge, but, you know, you had to be in Japan and do the best of that. The certain we get for a certain battle network up, one up to four to get some items. Oh, really? What kind of items are we talking? Like, are they must-haves or just... Like, eh, you get this chip a little earlier if you do this. You know what? While you go and check that, I'm going to step away for just a second, refill my water, get my nose cleared up. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. All right. Got my water refilled. Hopefully, my nose will be cleared for another. Uh, anyway. Gotta get to under. What undernet do I need to get to? I just keep exploring until I find it, I guess. This way, because that loops around on itself. Wait, this guy here. I, I may look like this, but I'm actually shy and awkward. I, I, get, I get all nervous when I meet someone for the first time. I'm begging you, don't make me any more nervous. How about if I give you some good info? Ah, auto number. Now please step back at least six feet. I can hardly breathe. I might pass out if you don't. Battle Network 1. The Proto Man Colonel Battle Chip gets boosted by 100. Really? And you get an extra folder and a dual folder, which the folder is meant as a starter to set up for net battles online. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, double Team can uh, battle people online. That makes sense. That's a good use of it. out. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yep, and I failed. Okay. Let's turn everything to grass tiles. Does the power boost only happen as long as the, the game is inserted? If you have, as long as you have Battle Network 1 in the GBA slot, as soon as you unequip it, it goes back to whatever power it was. Battle Network 2, Magnet Man Nightman's Battle Chip gets boosted by 100. And there's a sub-chick NPC that gets gives you 50% off. Interesting. Huh. Permanent, even if you remove it. Oh, that sounds really useful, honestly. Uh, do I want to? Slowly. There we go. So, wait, are the chips just straight up stronger then? If you use that? Then, if you compare it to the actual GBA carts for the chips, things calm down. Man, that's so boring. I'm assuming we're talking about like the SP variants, right? I can't check attack power. I don't know the SP variants. So I'm guessing so there's six guys, right? Oh, so probably how it works is Battle Network 3 White boosts. Uh... Oh, it's their special chips during Liberation missions only. Okay, that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. So I'm guessing Battle Network 3 White probably powers up Shadow Man and uh, Gyro Man. Battle Network 3 Blue powers up Tomahawk and 
Napalm Man. Blue Moon powers up probably... Uh, Number Man, Search Man, and Red Sun powers up Toad Man, Medi. Something like that, I'm guessing, right? I'm guessing that's how it works. As well as any other extra effect like a subject healer. Sorry, the mailman's right up front and Molly is needs to calm down. No. I'm ready to mute the mic if she barks. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. I know she's not calmed down yet. Battle Network 3, Shadow Man, Driver Man, 4, Tomahawk, Napalm Man, 4.5, Search Man, and Number Man. 4.5, interesting. And then Battle Network 5, for, uh, Boost, Proto Man, Kern. Oh, that makes sense. But wait, 4.5 never made it to America, did it? So are you just supposed to have a Japanese copy? Hi, Molly. Just making sure my dog doesn't bark. Is the DS region locked? Then? Any copy will do. Okay, Molly? Are you calm? I, I can't guarantee. It isn't region locked, so you could just get yourself a, co a Japanese copy of 4.5 and then get the power boost. That Molly? Man's gone. I think we're good. Uh, well, let's go number soul. Get some extra chips. Okay, sorry. Uh, GBA isn't region locked, but the DS is. But not region. Not region locked. For DS. Oh, you double check. For the DS only, no region. Locked. Like, when you say that, do you mean, like, original DS? But, like, DS Lite, DSi is region locked? Actually, the only other one that would matter is... Uh, the only other one that would matter to that is uh, the DS Lite. But DSi and DSi XL got rid of the GBA slot, so that ultimately doesn't matter. It's just kind of weird that you can have, like, all the Battle Network games released in America. Right? I currently, I, I currently fall in that category. And if I were to pick up Double Team, right? I would be able to power up all the navvies except for, what was it, uh, Number Man and Search Man because I don't have a Jap- I don't live in Japan and have a Japanese copy. Nebula is really, really bad. I like that. How did they stir up so much trouble? I'd really like to know. Yes, and up is region locked. Okay. But all DS stuff isn't. Okay. You can just buy a Japanese copy online. 
You know, no, I get it. But I'm just thinking like younger me, you know? You know, when these games were first coming out. Back in 2005. Actually, 2005 was Final Network 6, I believe. My point still stands. Like, there's no way I would have been able to get a copy. I mean, I guess I could now. It probably wouldn't be that hard, but still. Younger me definitely wouldn't have been able to. Message. Destruction! Domination! Kidnapping! There are many things written on this BBS. I can say no more. Confusion. Oh yes, go ahead and confuse me. It's totally gonna work since you're the only one left. It makes you wonder if they actually plan to release 4.5 over here. Because a normal consumer wouldn't be able to be able to uh, get all that. BN5 was the first you played? Battle Network 3 was the first one I played, personally. And then I played all the other games from there, going forward. So 4, 5, and 6, when they were coming out. Then I eventually went back to 2 and 1. Anything more here? This looks like another jack-in spot somewhere else to get into the under underneath sooner. Uh, not sooner, quicker. Go air hockey! I messed up in terms of the skull. It moves three squares. Wind. I already have one. Long blade. Get into meteors. Okay. I like how most of my strategy is fire chips when I'm not even a fire. I don't even have fire soul. It just helps that, like, Tomahawk Man creates grass tiles. Right. I need to get more fire hit twos, but I would have to go to the Liberation for mission for that right now, and I don't know. game was double team. The third one was Blue Moon. So wait, if the first game you played was Battle Network 5, and I'm assuming you meant the GBA cartridge, and then you picked up Double Team DS, why'd you pick up Double Team DS? When it was the same game. Cross to try to beat Team Colonel. Oh, 
So, based on that, you were Team Proto Man on GBA. And you wanted a way to play Team Colonel. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was a Team Colonel player back uh, on the GBA. Well, I do have both cartridges, I was mainly Team Colonel. Spike Toad Man. Get his Toad Man shit. And those are the games that I'm playing while I'm streaming. The games I played when I was a kid, or at least the version, anyway. So it was Blue, Blue Moon, Colonel, it'll be Fal- It will be Falzar. Uh... And I think the reason why I got Team Colonel was because a friend, one of my other friends that was playing Foul Network, was getting Team Colonel. So, kind of like whole, the whole Pokemon thing. One got one version, another person got a different one. Sort of thing. Let's... Air hockey isn't that great. Here, but we can get this out of it. Oh, right, I don't get paralyzed that time. Just wanted to play the Colonel version of the game to see if it was easier or not. And what'd you think about Team Colonel? I think the liberation missions are a lot easier in Team Colonel. Mostly because Nightman's a way better unit. <laughs> and also, like... I think Nightman's better in Liberation Missions. I prefer Shadow Man. I'm just used to Tomahawk Man, but I remember Napalm Man being pretty good. Granted, I think I like Search Man more than Number Man. And I prefer Toad Man over Medi. And then Colonel... And Colonel and Proto Man, I like Colonel's charge shot more. Nebula turned the whole net upside down. It's so inspiring to me. It's easier with the liberation missions, but if you want to challenge them, Team Proto Man is going to be Right. Um, I think we will do this. And we get get in one. That's a new chip. We should leave Nebula alone. Their actions are actually making our lives easier. And it's also kind of weird that Battle Network 5, when it first released, at least in Japan, uh, it was released in a way where Team Proto Man got released first. But then Team Colonel was released a few months later. It's weird. Yeah, that's the coolest thing about that, uh, Legacy Collection. Just online net battles. It's too bad you can't really find anyone, though. Although I haven't gotten to Battle Network 6, and I'm pretty sure that's where everyone would be fighting. Dark Toad Man. Let the darkness consume you, Mega Man. And there it is. Everyone's playing Battle Network 6. That's probably why I like don't really find anyone when bat when trying to net battle unless you set up with someone specifically. I found the signal transmitter, Lan. Okay, let's get this over with click. Quick. Roger. 
tournaments for BN for Switch. Cool, cool. No good. It's immune to my Mega Buster. Don't give up. Try again. Seems a little rat has wandered in. That voice. Colonel! You found the server somehow. But it was a waste of time. Waste of time? That's right. We got enough data from the recent experiment. It is now complete, and we no longer need the server. My Megabuster didn't even make a scratch. It is the dark power. Even you want its power, don't you? No, you're wrong. Snap out of it, Colonel. Let's go back and see Barrel. Barrel? Who's he? The only place I belong is with Dr. Regal. Colonel, I'm not leaving without you. It's just how you plan on doing that. <laughs> is that all you got? How do you expect to defeat me like that? Wait, hold on. Did I read that wrong? How do you expect to defeat me like that? I just realized he doesn't... He's, how do you expect me to defeat like that? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna end this. Toad recital! Ugh, what was that? Toad man! You okay? I, I think so. Why are you here? He's here because he is the one who can free Colonel from the dark power that rules him. It's Proto Man! After suffering the Dark Lord uh, the Dark Lord's self-destruct attack, Colonel was taken to Nebula HQ. There his wounds were treated with the dark power, which took over his body. Show yourself. Official Navi, Proto Man here. All who disturb the peace shall deal with me. Proto Man. A game error? There's all. 4 through 6 has a lot of, like, errors, mostly. Listen, you two. Toad Man's power is trying to break the dark power that is ruling Colonel. That means there's hope for Colonel. It's not that easy. The dark power has gnawed deep into his personality, memory, and other key data. Destroying the dark power may take such a key. may take such key data from him. If that happens, Colonel will be an empty shell. Oh no! What should we do? Listen, you two. Here's the plan. Got it? Got it. Just say when. Let's roll. Toad recital, full power! <laughs> the dark power left Colonel. Now! Mega Man, fire! Colonel! So, what's more fitting? Having to save Proto Man and a new guy just shows up named Colonel and he's, he just shows up, helps out, and then leaves and you don't know anything about him? Or you team up with Colonel and then, you know, Proto Man just shows up out of nowhere. Be like, hey, I'm here for the cameo and then leaves. Who? What? Where? Colonel! Colonel! That voice. I gave him the best treatment I could. To think his physical wounds will be okay now, but... Now is a matter of the soul. Say so saving Colonel because we know a lot about Proto Man? I guess that makes sense. If you think about it the other way around, because we have never met Colonel before, it feels kind of like they wrote themselves in a corner and needed a way out. Whereas this way, yeah, they kind of did the same thing. But, you know, we know who Proto Man is, you know. Colonel, snap out of it. M Mega Man. Colonel, you're back. I heard your voice. Is the head canon for Battle Network 6? Isn't there, like, aspects of both games that kind of are canon to Battle Network 6? I spoke to me deep down into my soul. 
I believe in you, Colonel. I never doubted you. Doubted you'd be back. And we finally have Colonel Soul. I'll take you back to Barrel, Colonel. Okay. Thanks, Proto Man. We saved Colonel thanks to you. Hey, Proto Man, come join our team. Um, I, I really like to. Play. The villains behind that Nebula experiment won't go away. You guys can crush Nebula even without Chad and I. I know you can. This just. That doesn't feel right. <laughs> what happens if Alan Network 5? Of course, but there's probably aspects in Team Proto Man that goes into Battle Network 6, does it? Say a little. Proto Man. Thank you. Well, let's check out too. Oh, really? There's like nothing in Team Proto Man that like gets transfers over to Battle Network 6? You probably already know this, but Colonel is back. Our whole team is here. It kind of makes the whole events with Colonel and Battle Network 6 like kind of weird though. Like, he's basically an enemy in Battle Network 6. If you play Team Proto Man, he shows up out of nowhere, so he was a mystery there, right? And just like, okay, he was a mystery. I guess he was truly a, like working with the villains all over all along for Battle Network 6. Here, now it feels like, why would you do this, Colonel? Why would you do this? I don't know. It's, it's also been like 10 years since I played Battle Network 6, so I'll get there eventually. So we can go straight and Nebula's home base. How can we do that without knowing where it is? Oh, good boy. We have a general fix on the base. Really? Colonel Saxis login. Hurdle's access log contains its probable location. Well, what are we waiting for? How's Colonel, anyway? He's lucid now. He should be fully recovered tomorrow. That's a relief. That means we head for Nebula's home base tomorrow. After all, we gotta have our leader. Uh, um, uh, Colonel? Are we going to Nebula's base, too? You don't have to go if you're too scared. Who, who's scared, huh? Side missions for BN6 more, is more streamlined. How is it more streamlined? I'm gonna ask Mr. Mariko to marry. Uh, achoo! Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna chicken out. Is Miss Mariko Miss Mari? I forget if that's like her full name. Or is it like someone new that thinks we just talking about? Be in the park in front of Higsby's. 10 a.m. tomorrow. You don't have to come if you don't want to. We've all done more than enough already. This one's shaping up to be one heck of a battle. I won't say a word if you stay home. That's all. Meeting's over. Alright. We get to move on to the final section of the game. Finally. Mom, I'm home. Welcome back, Lan. I found something while clearing out Gramps' desk. What? I'm not sure, but I thought you might know. Instead of having to randomly find side quests by talking to NPCs, you can go to the mission. Well, it's kind of like Battle Network 2 and 3 with the uh, request board. It's just bringing the request board back from Battle Network 2 and 3. I wonder what it contains. Mega Man, analyze it, please. It contains text data that reads Net, Scilab, 3, Center, Straight, Straight 27, Turn and Go 4. Turn again, Go 4, and then check Hikari Data Reaction. A memo from Gramps. Might come in handy. Lan? Lan, you're gonna go. Yeah, we'll set off tomorrow morning. How did you know? After raising you for 10 years, I could just tell. Wait, I thought he's 11. I thought Lan's 11. Are we having a Pokemon situation where Ash just keeps regressing back to 10 and never ages? Your face gave it away. Don't worry, Mom. I'm gonna bring Dad back no matter what. Okay. I'm gonna go check out, check out the info on this data disk.
Gramps, please watch over Lan and Hub. And then Colonel Soul. Sync with summon base chips, basically like blocks. Let you plan out seek attacks. Use B power to swing a forward slicing screen divide attack. Select a sender chip that has an attack attack value and is not grayed out from the custom screen. Use arm change, and you can then press B to power up that chain. Okay. You can also plant booby traps in the enemy's area. When the enemy finds it, you trap attacks it. Colonel Soul lets you use both power and tactics. So with Colonel Soul, you can change screen divide for something else. You have 100% battle number. 124, and being 6, lands 10 years old here. Well, no, here's the thing. When you go into ACDC's town in the past, and it was 11 years ago, and that's when Lan and Hub were born. So I think this was just some weird typo. Okay, we need to go to Silent. Yeah, I think it was some sort of typo, or she was just generalizing. Not in key item. Uh, memory data? No, not that one. Scilab 3. Let's start with that. Yeah, because the vision burst says it was 11 years ago. I like how this game is like, oh, we made dark chips in four, but we told you never to use them. So let's try this again, but give you a reason to actually use dark chips. And now there's a reason to use dark chips. Uh, center, straight, 27. Turn and go four, turn again, go four, and then check. Is it like one of these squares? I'm just gonna start running. Straight 27, so it's probably somewhere over here. I did not actually count. I don't think it's up here. Oh, no, it is up here. Is the data disk reverting to here? Was that a vision burst again? Whoa! What is it, Mega Man? The mark on my chest is grow is glowing. What the a doorway to the vision burst? A reaction to your program, perhaps? Land, let's go. I just kind of knew it was already over in this section. Well, Mega Man? Land, someone else is here. The basic theory of SoulNet is complete. Ah, the design for Soul Server. As is, as in as also the design for Soul Silver. We complete our joint research on SoulNet. We'll be able to build a strife-free world where people trust each other. Still, there is a major problem that must be solved. Right. We've done what we can. Now it's up to the next generation to finish this research. Land should be 13 years old at this time. Battle Network 3, he enters 6th grade. 
Hmm. He was 12 at the end of Battle Network 3? I guess that's a good point. So I'm guessing, f I guess 4, 5, and 6 are almost like... That's why it's kind of weird. It kind of seems like 4, 5, and 6 don't reference the other games, but yet they do. So I don't know. It might just be a weird timeline problem. Our offspring will cer certainly complete what we started. They won't fail us. The Hikari Report rec records all my son, Yuchiro... Records all my son, Yurichiro, needs. There's six grades of elementary, right. And I will pass my design on to Regal. We've reached the final day of our research. I feel a bit sad. <laughs> it's not the Wily I know. <laughs> As, well, frankly, I was shocked when, I, when you began talking about it. Converting people's souls into data and linking them via Soul Server to create Soul Net. But sure enough, you did it, Hikari. You did it. I couldn't have done it without your robotics technology. Dr. Wiley, you have a visitor. Please come to the first floor meeting room. So for the games, that grade was a one. Hmm. Well, I should go. Goodbye, Hikari. Bye. So at some point... Even though Dr. Light went to computer technology and Wiley still went to robotics, at some point they teamed up. That was Wiley when he was young, and he was speaking with with the young Gramps. So the scientist Beryl said Gramps conducted the joint research was Wiley? And to think Regal is really Wiley's son. Gramps mentioned the Hikari report, right? And Regal must have the soul net design handed down from Wiley. So if Regal is after the Hikari report, does that mean he intends to complete Soulnet? Gramps and Wily's research? But weren't they developing Soulnet to interlink people and build a world where they could trust each other? What is Regal up to? Let's go talk to Gramps. Maybe he could tell us something. Uh, give it a try. That's the last time Lan is in school till Battle Network 6. Well, he's in a new school. Yeah, what... What grade does he go into in Battle Network 6? Is it 6th grade? Um, excuse me. Soulnet. Surely our sons can build such a wonderful world. They are our hope. I should be going. 4 and 5 take place before 6th grade. And I'm guessing 6 is in 6th grade. And he's gone. Regal. He's ruining Gramps' dream. Mega Man Jack out. Let's go prepare for the final battle tomorrow. Gotcha. Okay. I forget. What does the end of Battle Network 3? It's like a year in the epilogue. It's like a year later and Land's gonna be in a new grade. What grade did he say he was going in? Yeah, I know school's not a thing in four and five. <laughs> These details I always kind of forget. Sleep well? Today's the final battle. Yeah, like a log. Let's go meet the others. They'll be in front of the Higsby's, right? Right. Let's not forget to say bye to Mom before we go. And it's over. We'll say, we're home with Dad. He did say he was supposed to go into 6th grade at the end? Hmm. I'm leaving, Mom. Land, take care of your father. Leave it to me. The 11-year-old to save the world. Again. For the fifth time. I promise I'll bring him back. Okay. Yeah, that, that's some timeline problems, isn't it? That's why a lot of people think that 4 through 6 kind of retcons, and it's almost like a soft reboot. But then you play this game, Team Colonel specifically, and during the Shadow Man scenario, freaking they reference Gospel and the events of Battle Network 2 all the time. It takes place a month before Battle Network 5. Yeah, the tournament doesn't take that take up that much time. There you go. Hey! 
I'm gonna clobber Regal and save my dad. Where's Nebula's home base anyway? It's at the highest point of, in Electopia. The highest point in Electopia? Not Mount Bellinus. Bingo. At 12... At, at 12,389 feet. It's the highest point in Electopia. Nebula's base is within its crater. How are we gonna get all the way up there? We're not gonna climb, are we? No, of course we're not gonna climb. I've arranged for a chopper. I see you thought of everything. Let's get going. Let's get in. Got up in the way. I'll wait for the chopper. Ah, my friends. My friends who did absolutely nothing in this in this game. Hey guys, why didn't you tell us you were leaving? I know we couldn't really be of much use to you guys, but we can handle the worrying department. You better come back in one piece. Guys, I'll bring Gutsman Rolling Glide back with me. You'll see. I won't be gone long. Well, I better get going now. Land! I promise you'll be careful. Let's net battle when you get back. Make us proud. Okay, guys. I'm off. You ready? Sorry for the delay. Let's go. Roger. Land. There's no way they can follow me now. We took a helicopter. Several hours after leaving ACDC Town. They reached the top of Mount Bellinus, site of Nebula's base and dormant volcano. This is Nebula's base, home of the Dark Chip Syndicate. Meryl, we've come this far, let's get in there. Let me take the lead. Excuse me, Dusk? Dusk? You can't just rush in blindly yet into the enemy's home base. Leave this one to me. Barely. I'll buy I go ahead and take a look. Okay, but stay on your toes. Go. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Dusk? Be careful. Ten minutes after Dusk set out. Meryl here, Dusk. The back entrance. Okay, got it. What was that? Answer me, Dusk. Dusk! Dusk! Dun 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 Meryl, what happened to Dusk? No, I lost the signal. That fool! Now look what's happened to him showing off. We can't just sit here now. Let's go, leader. Right. To the back entrance. Hold. This still takes place during the summer. Well, remind me, in Battle Network 3, it was just a few days before he was supposed to enter 6th grade, right? Like, he was right, gonna, he was gonna start school up, like, the next day, right? And then, and then your dad gives you a new Mega Man, right? So yeah, some of it just will, some of it just doesn't line up at all. The only way you can make this work is if you retcon it to where, at some point during the summer, that's when he got Mega Man back. He was near the start of summer in the game. Seems to be a secret door. Go! I am Higsby, lone wolf, huh? I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all, huh? This is Nebulous Hideout, huh? Let's smash it! I've done a lot of inv investigating assignments, but this is the scariest by far. This place is totally terrifying, but there's no turning back. Let's do our best. Yeah, Battle Network 3 was the start of summer. But the epilogue at the very end was right before he was supposed to start school. And that's when he got Mega Man back. It was near... 
Oh, it was nearing summertime. And then he got Mega Man. I thought it was at the end of summer. Hmm. That's just something I need to look through again. Mega Man 4 and takes place a month before Battle Network 5, and 4 and 5 take place during the summer break. Also in Japan, isn't like summer break only like a month? Two doors, eh? Well, Barrel, the front entrance lies ahead. Yeah, so... Oh, wait, they didn't they say in this game that school got cut out because of Nebula's influence? There are two doors we can use. Listen up, form two groups, one to check out each door. Once Regal is found, contact the other group. Got it? So it's me and you, Barrel. No, we're splitting up. Land, Pride, Dingo, and Hig Higsby. You guys check out the n check out the near door. You may end up facing the enemy's frontal assault, but I know you guys are the right people for the job. But what about me? You better come with me. I need your ability to counter the dark power. I I'll do my best. Fall back if things get too hairy. Don't be reckless. Oh, and land. Take this. You'll be able to master it. Cross divide. Thanks, Meryl. I'll use it wisely. Be careful. You guys too. Got it. School's out because of summer break during the game. Right. Let's take a look at this. 220 damage. That's really good. And also, I think it can technically hit twice, quote unquote. So, yeah, that's a good chip. Might replace roll. Unless there's something else I want to get rid of. Honestly, this is kind of weak. So, Battle Network 4 is, takes place a month before Battle Network 5. However, I think that took place during the summer break because of the tournaments. I think at the beginning of this game, they kind of said that school got cut out because of the nebula attacks. So maybe school started at Battle Network 5. Or started back up. It's gonna land. Well, to, be honest, to be honest, huh? Let me go back. Nothing to do but push ahead. The dawn of an evil age draws near. Comrades, prepare for that day. There's a portal for jacking in. Huh. So, so let me see if I get this right. Battle Network Three. He's in the fifth grade. He gets Mega Man back at the start of Summer Vacation. He went through the rest of the school year without Mega Man. Battle Network take 4 takes place during Summer Vacation, and that's a month before Battle Network 4. And I'm pretty sure this game starts up saying that school got cancelled a bit due to the Nebula attacks. But we know in Battle Number 6, he does 6th grade at a different school. Am I missing something? Well, this is just a way back to the Back to under F3. I think I got that right. I still think no matter how you look at it, no matter what you do, there's gonna be some sort of continuity error. Yeah, 
I, I just think no matter what, there's gonna be some sort of con continuity error. I'm just not sure where it's at. Those bug fragments? Man, I need a lot of those. What the? It's a plant for producing dark chips. So this is where they make them. Man, let's hurry ahead. I'm gonna pulverize this plant right after I finish off Regal. Okay, guys, let's go. So this is dark chip back here. I want to wreck the whole place! Let's get moving. This factory needs to be destroyed, huh? Let's go! Man, there are so many dark ships here when I only... I only have, like, what, ten of them? This looks like the only way forward, but we'll have to disable this electro barrier first. Lady Pride, how are we going to disable it? We should jack into this control panel and shut down the control system. Lady Pride, I'm ready to jack in. Just say the word. It appears we need two navvies to get anywhere this time. I'm on it. Not this time. I think I'll take care of this one. What? Who knows what's in there? Nightman should go. He has excellent defensive abilities. Agree? Leave it, leave it to that stubborn princess, huh? She shut Dingle right up. Uh... I'll just jack in here and... Well, let's go. Okay. When's my chance? It'll be soon, Tom uh, Dingo. It'll be soon. Mega Man, you gotta disable the door's electronic lock. Gotcha. Nightman, I'm counting on you. Let's go for it, Nightman. I knew we'll bask together in the glory of battle. In battle, it's crucial to work with your teammate. Press Z, uh, press select to switch navies. Let's go, full blast. Gotcha. Alright, time to make save. We gotta do some puzzles. Let's see. We gotta find a switch for Mega Man to push. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Okay. So, air hockey. Nightman needs to be the one that needs to go this way. Okay. I think we'll use this first and we'll weaken. I guess I'll go with Aqua Whirl. Nightman has like no range, so let's rely on the chips. I like how these are specifically made for our teammates to deal with. Imagine if Tomahawk Man came in here and we see the we see this guard post and be like, well Tomahawk Man, you can't do anything here, you better leave. Take this kingdom crusher. So then we have 
Nightman will help us stay on the switch. Now we have Mega Man move forward. What's over to the left? Okay, a door for Mega Man to open eventually. Okay, I see. We want... I'll just go to the left now. First. Attack, and I messed that up. they don't use uh, what was it? As long as they don't have get in right now. And also, I'm actually debating on getting rid of Reflect. One, I barely use it. I can't use it when I soul change. And it's weaker too. I don't know. Ooh, M Cannon. Battle Network 5, school is cancelled because of nebula attacks. Okay, so I was right on that. I remember that. Let's use fire hit. Oh, that's done. During the school holidays makes sense. It makes perfect sense to do the tournament when, you know, people are off school. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of Reflect. It's not as good. It got that huge nerf. I'll put air shoes in. Which explains the summer vacation ending for it, right? Okay. Going the way. I thought I remember reading that Battle Network, Battle Network 3's epilogue was... It was the end of summer vacation and he was going to school, but maybe either I'm misremembering or they retconned. Either way. But, yeah, most of it's lining up, I guess. What's the... What's the difference between... Like, Battle Network 5 and 6? Battle Network 5, school's technically starting, but it got cancelled. But technically, he should be in the 6th grade by now. So, when school goes back up, after the Nebula attacks, is that when we move on to 6? Like, literally just like a few days later? Yeah, that's the weird thought that one through three takes place during that one year. But I think it makes sense because if I remember correctly, two takes place during uh during like one of the vacations. Or at least there's a section that's during one of the vacations. Something like that. Like, there's a section of the game in Battle Network 2 where it's, like, Spring Break or something. And that's when they go camping. Something like that. Okay, no, not, not that way. I need to go to the right. One week after Nebula attacks takes... Okay, school is up. Into takes place during the summer. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So literally, uh, he transfers schools like a literally like a week after this game. Right? It's very short. It's very short after the events of this game. Granted, battle number four, five, and six take place like within a single year of each other. Actually, a few months from each other. Kind of a weird thought. It's funny that all of the battle net, all of the battle network games take place in the span of two years. Events of six games over the course of two years. Matter what, it's just a few months after that one. That's at the very least. All the time. You know, I always uh, was talking that I wouldn't mind another Battle Network game just because I like the gameplay. But also, the gameplay, the game series does have a definitive ending with its epilogue in 6. So I almost don't want another game in that sense, but you can always just have it take place before the epilogue, obviously. However, like, because the games take place, Within the span of two years, you could totally make more games and have it, like, not be an issue. I did think about what if there was a another, like, Battle Network-like series that's, like, a hundred years after Battle Network. And the navvies instead of... Uh, uh, the navvies that you use are basically based on the Mavericks from X. Because you know, if you already have classic Mega Man rep here in Battle Network, why not have the X, uh, the X Games get represented with another Battle Network-like series? Right? And then we still have Star Force. Or at least we should still have Star Force. I don't think we're getting a Star Force 4. Even though I do think we should get a Star Force 4. He has no range, but he is strong. Let's 
switch. I think we're almost done with this area. Yeah, I kind of like this type of puzzle solving. Just trying to get two characters to move forward by pressing cer certain switches. Molly, what are you doing? to Blizzard Man. Whoosh! Never thought you'd get this far. Blizzard Man! Whoosh! You're not gonna ruin our plan. Whoosh! We gotta defeat Blizzard Man to continue. Let's do it, Mega Man. Battle routine set, execute. I'm gonna freeze ya. Whoosh! Tomahawk Soul, at the very least. Now let's try to set up air hockey. I want to make sure full air is draft. He can't escape my charge shot. There's nothing he can do about it. Yeah, he's confused. Ooh, we got cross divide. Let's see if I can set this up. Right. It is perfect. It should kill him. Yeah, it's technically two attacks. So full forty if you get it. Drawn in. What is it? It's a black hole to the dark galaxy. Dark galaxy? Dark universe created by Dr. Reed. Wonder it's darkness forever. Whoosh! The electro barrier has been disabled. Check out Mega Man. I, I can't. It's pulling me in with the tremendous force. Ah! Mega Man! Nightman! Ugh, so powerful. Mega Man, check out now while I'm blocking the force. You should be able to now. But Nightman, a knight must save his comrades. Get out of here now. Nightman. Mega Man, you must defeat Nightman. Don't worry, I'll check out right after you do. Nightman! Nightman, hurry up and check out too! Leave that's an order. Get back here at once. I'm counting on you all to look after the princess. Nightman! Okay. Well, that's going on. Uh, I think my dog needs to go outside. Since we're so close to being in the game, I want to beat Nebula Gray. So, I'm going to step away for a second and let my dog.
Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Molly just went outside. Should be able to finish up at least the main story today. Well, Nightman's gone. Pride. Don't worry, Nightman just fulfilled his duty. Now it's your turn to fulfill yours. Good luck, Pride. Don't worry, I'll fulfill my duty. We'll save Nightman from the void. Somehow. He got sucked into the void. Another barrier. Let's check in and disable it. There's another port for jacking in here. Now it's my turn. Hold it right there. A Nebula soldier. The other port for disabling is right here. Too bad you're finished. Oh, man. Mm. So all I have to do is jack in there. Thanks for the info. Who's there? Gah! Gah! Dusk! This one's mine. Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Honestly, this role fits better with Dusk than Gyroman's operator, honestly. It just feels more fitting with Dusk around, honestly. Mega Man, there are many more Dark Lloyds lurking up ahead. Be careful. The air is safe here. It's probably the Dark Power. Shadow Man! Glad to see you. Let's do this. Let's go. Granted, I haven't played Team Proto Man in such a long time, I don't remember how the dialogue was with that character. You know what I mean? It probably makes perfectly. F it probably makes perfect sense in Team Proto Man. It just kind of feels like it's better here. No, not that way. We need to go this way. Oh, yeah, no. I like the Battle Royale series. Really good series. There's a part of me that's really upset that it stopped after this game, but at the same time, uh, Star Force is a pretty good series. I just prefer the Pool Network. That's all. But yeah, I do think we can get another. Mega Man series that's like a hundred years after Battle Network, but you know, a hundred years before Star Force. And what you can do and then just make all the net net navvies based on the Mavericks in Mega Man X. Star Force based it all, based all of it on uh, just basically their own creations, more or less. Water Folk Attack. There's nothing my sword can cut. Yeah! Alright, now Mega Man can move forward. that way. You. More damage to you. Wait, no, no. 
Let's grab the blue mystery data first. Reg up three? It's okay. It's okay. Now we have to head back. So, have you played all the Battle Network games by now? Or is it, like, even if it's just through the Legacy Collection? If so, uh, you said you, uh, out of Battle Network 5, you were a Team, uh, you were a Team Proto Man player. But what about, like, the other games, like, about 3, 4, and, well, you said Blue Moon, so, I guess 3 and 6. For me, it was Battle Network 3 Blue, Blue Moon, Colonel, and Thousand. I don't know. I probably said that. But, you know. Yeah. Well, we got Oil Body. That's something. I think they said they didn't want to continue Battle Network directly was because... I think they said they just wanted to keep it on the Game Boy Advance. Like, they didn't want it to extend past it. Something like that. But I think at this point, they probably will consider making another one. Think about it like this. They made Mega Man 11 because the Legacy Collection sold so well. And while we don't know the sales of like any of the others, we know Legacy Collection for Battle Network sold very well. Granted, they combined both of them in the numbers, so honestly, if we were going to get another Mega Man game, I have a gut feeling they'll probably do something Battle Network related, Battle Network 7, because they know it sells well. Because I think the X collection and the Zero one, well, they did, they did fine. But Battle Network did really well. Battle Network doesn't need it. There are so many other Mega Man games that need the extra game. Battle Network is Battle Network and Zero are the ones that don't need them. Story-wise, anyway. Okay. Let's get rid of all these tiles and then. Actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of the front two first. Alright, I can't get confused. This Tomahawk thing lets me do that.
but then I think I need to head up here. No, that's not right. Okay. Get rid of those tiles by using wood chips. Just in general, okay. Here we go. I think I'm gonna skip this guy, so it's all the same. I think we need to exit here. I don't know why the Scully chips confuse them, but hey, you know, I'll take it. You know, I don't know why I just thought of this, but because he's got these Scully chips, it makes me want a Skull Man, uh, Skull Man to come back and like, if there's a battle in like five, Skull Man comes in and we have a Skull Man fusion. That'd be kind of cool. Is immune to pun uh, to the guardian. You know, when he's still in the apple core. That's interesting. Normally, guardian just ignores defense. Yeah, I know. Apples are the worst, huh? Why do you think they keep the doctor away? I'll give you credit for getting this far. But I can't allow you to go any further. Your adventure stops here. <laughs> Dark power is stronger in you than the last time. Let's dispense with the present chains, shall we? Here he comes, Land. Wait! Shadow Man! I'll take care of that bad brain. It's not polite to come between two men in a duel. Eternal darkness awaits for one who is wounded this day. Hmm? Shadow Man, run! What are you doing? I think that's the... I think Shade Man was supposed to say that, maybe. Shadow Man! <laughs> it's either that or he was supposed to say it's sucking me in, basically. Either way, that seemed like some sort of typo of some sort. Now that we're free of the pest, we can battle all we want. I can't forgive you. Lamb! Okay, let's go, Mega Man. Bow routine set, execute. Let's rest easy. You'll be among your comrades shortly. <laughs> Alright. Actually, we'll hold off on that. Let's go Toad Man. And a rematch with Shade Man. Again, at least this is not the Battle Network 4 variant of Shade Man. I hate that move so much. Uh, yeah. Come, guard. Then I'll have anti damage set up. There we go. Perfect. 
And then we could try to set up cross divide. Get out of here, Shade Man. Honestly, cross divide is a good ship. What's the Team Proto Man one? Is it Delta Edge again? Dr. Regal, I'm going back to the dark. There, I'll become a vile spirit. And Nebula Grey will give me new power. Nebula Grey? It is what gives darkness form. I'll drift in the dark vortex, becoming a new part of it. As will all trapped in the dark galaxy. <laughs> Dusk. There was nothing I could do. Shadow Man's not gone. I've trained him to face much worse. Dusk. Forget about me. You should keep going. I'll concede the glory of defeating Nebula to you guys. Gotcha. Yeah, you think you would have been caught up in that explosion. We'll do it for Shadow Man, too. Yeah. Let's check out, check out land. I think you can see how this final dungeon is going to play out for the rest of the stages. Security system control panel. No good, it's locked. The door's locked. And the control panel wants us to check in. Then it now's my chance. He's been itchy to actual fight. Dingo, you should just chill out a bit, huh? As you can see here, this is a mission for this is a mission for three to check in. You must work closely with one another, huh? I know that. But the warrior's blood within me wants to fight now! I'm wearing to go. Stay alert, you two. Right back at you, Lynn. Uh, I'm already on edge, huh? Well, here it goes. At least we don't have a single panel for, you know, like six dungeons, you know what I mean? Civil Electric Barrier, Roger. Shake, quit, quiver. Kind of scary looking place. I'll do my best. I'm gonna crush anything in my way! Let's go, Mega Man. So let's see. We need number. Wait. We need Tomahawk Man for that, right? Okay, let's go this way. No, that's Tomahawk Man. You think Mega Man would have his own barrier that only he could take out? But nope, I guess not. So yeah, Higsby used to be the. Guy. Open that door. Piece of cake. Anyway. Ah, another door for him to bust through. If I could get rid of two of them with the Tomahawk Swing. skip this one. It's the same thing. Right. Now, Higsby needed to go this way. Okay. It'll take a second, but no problem. It's unlocked. Alright. We have to go up here. Have them open this door first. Let's see. Um, I can't really use number trap. I think I just have to go with air hockey's. Yeah, he 
needed a better chart shot, and he finally got it. Go this way. Then we go grab this. I don't need this data. It's probably HP memory. Card. It's like, nah, I don't need this. I guess I'll set up number trap. Oh, too late. Mess that up. Man's getting hit way too much. There we go, double damage. Okay, now we open this up. Now we swap back to Mega Man. We move up here. Actually, wait, 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 no. I can't do that yet. I need to grab that green mystery game. Or the blue mystery game. Gotta make sure to grab the HP memory. Alright. Yeah. Flame hit 2 would have been nice. I could have grinded for that, but I didn't. HP memory. Who would have guessed? Uh, okay, now we go this way. Um, actually, I'm still gonna go Tomahawk. It's a pretty good uh, form to go in. Pretty hard. Isn't that like uh, one of the harder nodes or something? Dark Dimension? I don't know. Again, I only know what you told me basically. Who are you working on right now? You got Red Boy. Shot these two. Shot, shot you. There we go. We go up. Nope, that's for Tom Hawk Man. We need to go this way. Down and around. to mess this up. He dodged. Okay, then. I like using the dark wide shot because it's very hard for them to dodge, but I should do it. Would be nice to have, but it's just too weak. It's not worth having. I can't even use it in this form. Look, lowering the damage is one thing. It's another thing to just 
limit it to only base Mega Man to use it. That, but I gotta take a look at it now. <laughs> I managed to hit all three with one. That was close. That's kind of cool. Okay, no, I need to go this way. Up here. Done with the. Uh... Little by cosmic nose, which is easy to see nose. Then we are hard because we're missing the damage out for you. Know, like, the tree got something really good for a bad character, so I told him he's kind of been holding the team back. Why are you taking the bad character if he's holding you back? This way. No. Don't go that way. Let's try this again. Dark Toad Man. Grab the screen. Gunsoul 2, why? Okay. Well, Gunsoul 1. I don't have enough. I don't have the third one yet. Yeah, I can I can probably have all of them. Get out of here. I want, I want this guy to move. I want him to move forward. There we go. Diamonds, which is a new mechanic to raise the power of characters. You took him because you thought it was funny. The only part about him with the healer thing. Yeah, we're not used to be able to make sure the team doesn't lose because of the healer. Uh, Press this one, and it opens up two doors. Start with Higgs Bird. Having to replay this a little bit. 600 Zenny, okay. We want to go over here. Yeah, let's go up the wall. Come on. I had that but no. The game's like, uh-uh, you, you tried attacking right when you got it. You gotta count it yourself. Stupid game. 
Oh, I forgot that's an aspect of the apple. If you kill him first, he'll actually recover one of the other enemies. I forgot about that detail. So you almost want to kill him last. Which now let's swap to Tomahawk. Down here, over here. Up and around? Yeah, there it is. So what, after your ads were done, more ads just showed up? Is that what happened? It's just like, for, for, thanks for watching all those ads. As your reward, you get more ads. Pretty cool, huh? Head up here, and there's Cloudman. Shaper. That makes a sleeper run in the dark void of the vortex. While Nebula Gray creates his new form. Nebula Gray? Cloud Man, what's Nebula Gray? It's what gives the shapeless form. It is a dark star at the center of the dark galaxy. Dark Nebula. See it for yourself if you do what you want. But only if you can defeat me first. Land, okay, power to set, execute. Sleep, Mega Man. Sleep in the great dark vortex forever. This is where Dark Lance would have been very useful. But I didn't throw it in. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see if I can use it. That's for sure. Too bad I can't hit him. Uh, let's hit him with this. We just can't I need an area grab. Oh, well, speaking of area grab. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I have. I have played. I've played all of them. I really hope we get a new Mystery Dungeon game. Alright. Now I'm gonna try something probably stupid. The only ones I haven't played were the ones that were only in Japan. What's so funny? You shall see how powerless you are. Ah. Yikes! Oh dear. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Though you defeated me, you couldn't save your friends. Cloud Man! Blame your own powerlessness, if anything. <laughs> yeah, I really like the first two Mystery Dungeon games. Uh, what was it? Gates to Affinity was okay. I lost my teammates again. I'm powerless, just like Cloud Man said. No time for that, Mega Man, huh? Keep going, huh? 
avenge Tomahawk Man's defeat. Okay, guys. Let's go, Lan. All we can do now is move forward. Right. Yeah, uh... Gets to Infinity's problem is that it only has, like, 250 Pokemon. Like, it, it doesn't carry all of them. For some reason. I don't know why. And then, Super Mystery Dungeon... I just didn't really care for it a lot of the time. I don't know why. Just thought it was mid. If only we could disable this Electro Barrier. I bet it leads the way out. Part of me has been thinking of playing one of the other Mystery Dungeon games, like the... Like the multiple Dragon Quest ones. Looks like three people have to jack in. Our teammates risked their lives to get us this far. All we can do is keep moving forward, whatever it comes. Mega Man, let's go as far as we can. Okay, I guess this is the only way left. Hold on. That voice. Oh, it was Rebetta. Okay. Check in here, right? Rebetta! Going in through here. You're both safe. What a we relief. Leave it to us. Rebetta, you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Check it. Yeah, honestly, Mega Mystery Dungeons is mostly, like, I would say it's a Dragon Quest series to start off with. It's mostly a Dragon Quest spinoff stuff. Part of me has been thinking of playing some of those ones, those Dragon Quest ones. Regal must be near, as it's a strong dark power here. Not even fear will stop me. Final battle is near. Let's go. Mega Man, keep an eye out. So you know how some Pokemon are good to look around and others are just okay? Imagine having a team two okay units and one good unit. Taking a Pidgey that happens to have max IVs and EVs and whatnot, but can't evolve. At least it has you about. I see. I see how it is. Gotcha. Yeah, but I know it's like a side tangent, but still, part of me has been thinking of playing one of the Mystery Dungeon games. Uh, Dragon Quest has like five different Mystery Dungeon games. <laughs> Most of them are Tarneka, the character from 4. Yeah, we'll start with this. There's like 4 or 5 Mystery Dungeon games that involve Torneko from 4. And then there's one from Genghis from 8 on the PS2 that we never got. It's like Yengis when he was younger. Uh, and maybe there was like one more mystery dungeon for Dragon Quest. I was gonna say, was it Treasures? But no, Treasures is not a... Uh, Dragon Quest Treasures is not a mystery dungeon game. Although Dragon Quest XI is getting a few spin has a few spin-offs. Treasures and uh what was it, the uh, monsters. So it just needs mystery dungeon. Toad Man's just hurting himself. Explores the sky. Yeah, that's what I. Uh, I had blue. I had blue. And with the second set, I had darkness for the longest time. And then for some reason, I lost it. I don't know why. I don't know why I lost darkness. 
But then, when I decided, you know, instead of getting darkness again, I'll just pick up sky. So then I put, I picked up sky. But then I have the two, three, yes. Games. underwater and dodge the explosion. Toad Man can be fun to use when you have that ability. It's like Shadow Man, you know? Here. No, wait, no. I think that swaps you to the other side, to Colonel Sonic. We don't want that. With the Guardian, we gotta time it right with the Apple. Right here, here we go. But the Apple will be the one to attack. But other than that, other than Dragon Quest and Pokemon, there's like two or three uh, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon games. I think there's like two on the PS1. Then there's one on the Wii. And then after that, I believe... Uh... Uh, there's a remake of one of the games on Switch. But then, like... Other than that... I'm just constantly hurting Toad Man. Other than that, I think they made a Mystery Dungeon game that's their own creation. And that's like all Mystery Dungeon has. Ghost Rider just needs a rework or update of some kind. We did get one with Morbius team. I don't think the team was overall. Hmm. When was the last time Ghost Rider had a... Oh wait, you said it was with the Mor Morbius team. Was he good with that update, or was he still subpar when he got that update? Okay. Get back to Colonel. We need to find the right one. The wrong way, I guess. We got hit because of that. Stay it. I need to go here. No biggie. Yeah. Okay, that's not the right one. I think Colonel needs to actually go to the other side. But you know what's funny about Mystery Dungeon? At least Mystery Dungeon, like, blue? You can, like, just take any Pokemon and just max out all their stats. Like, I'm serious, you can... If you could just grind for a bunch of, like, the proteins and stuff, you can max out your stats. This is where I wanted... No, that's not the right door.
the subpar Ghost Rider, Gold Stone. Uh, got reworks on the team, but it was mostly Sapphire's Voodoo, Morbius were the key members. They were meant to counter one war team and that's it. They couldn't take down anyone else. I see. Am I supposed to have Colonel and Rebetta go to the side first? This is actually kind of confusing. So let's have Colonel go up here. Wait. Let's grab that blue Mr. Rebel first. Sneak run Ruby. Very nice about now. Um. So. Colonel's gonna die. Blue Mystery Data first. Recover 200. Okay. okay. Let's hold off on Mega Man for a second. That team they counter is relevant in war, so it has a very it has a niche. So they technically have that. Actually, actually getting lost. The reason a lot of people work on them was for the Ring of Bay. It was a horseman legendary, but with a new rework system to get her. side where Colonel's at. Can I run? Yay. I didn't want to do this fight. Okay, okay let's open up this pathway. And this leads... The other one. This is not where we want to go. Okay. It's over here. Okay, we need to find another switch for Toad Man. Mega Man's not really doing anything. another Toad Man switch somewhere. And I am confused. 
Is that where I started? I think so. Of the team. He's like the fourth person to get the work on the team. Oh no. And yet, they don't love him. But then again, how many characters are in Strike Force or whatever? Like, there's so many characters. Okay. Now I found that switch, which I probably already had in the first place. Can I run, please? Nope. Why do I. Then I could do this. 200 plus, yeah, okay. And 14 of them are spider people. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I am not surprised about that. Now I found the right switch. Oh, we had to get a different switch for Colonel. Okay, I see. Now we go to land, we go up here. We go up here. We go cross over to the other side. At least I think we have to. Uh, hold on. Happens. The switch must be for another Navi. So how do they... Nebula made this base. How, how did they make a switch that only works for Barrel? And one that only works for, uh, like, Rubita, Toad Man. Like, how does that work? Like, explain that to me. Yeah, go ahead, heal the other apple that didn't even get hit once. Oh, finally, I can get some healing. What's going on? Uh, we're on the final set of the Nebula area with Colonel and Toad Man. I got lost, but I'm uh, working my way through. We're almost at Nebula Gray. Colonel needs to go right up here. Press the switch. So explain explain this to me. How come Nebula made specific switches that only work for Toby in their dungeon? Like I don't ex I don't know why they would do that. Stupid? I guess. Because they wouldn't even get get to use it. Because they're not Toad Man, you know? They're not Colonel. 
So it makes no sense why would they would build a security system like this. I'm gonna wait for the custom bar to fill up. Alright. What's this? It's the color of the navy, you think? Well, then they made a switch that it's only meant for green people or green navvies. And I correct me if I'm wrong, but there are no green navvies in Nebula. Mega Man, we move up here, we press this switch. We swap to Colonel and Toad Man. So Spider Gwen, better than Simeon. Yeah, I mean, Spider Man is the most popular Marvel character, so you know why they made like I mean, do they use regular navvies? Remember, like, all of the Nebula Goon navvies are all the purple ones. We have not seen a Nebula agent that's green, or that uses a normal navvy skin. Granted, just because we haven't seen them doesn't mean they're not there, but... I oh, don't know. The kind of the game has kind of told told me that uh, there's no normal navvies in Nebula. So you, the little rats, made it this far. Mega Man, I'm heading over there now. Toad Man, you wait here. I'll fight too. Hold on, Mega Man. Don't these guys, don't these guys ever shut up. Shut your traps. Arise, dark galaxy. It's the weird sequel to Mario Galaxy, Dark Galaxy. It's taking me in. Toad Man, run. N no good. N no. Too late. Ribbit! Ribbit! So why doesn't he just summon in another one? Okay, but in the case containing the pets of Lance Grimm's has a green navy there. Lance friends have a green navy? Which one of Nan Lance friends is a green navy? It's not Guts Man, he's more yellow. Rolls pink, glides yellow. Cosmo Man! <laughs> what a fine look, so full of hate. Give it to your anger. Hate me more. Your hate will make us dark lords even stronger. Plan, tell me what to do. I wonder what your anger tastes like. Let me taste your that angry soul of yours. Bring it on. Let's go, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. I'm gonna get my fill of your anger. Again, Cosmo Man is one of my favorite designs. It's a really good design. Um... Uh... This. And I guess we'll go air hockey. Let's see. Alright. Go Scully. 
make him confused. Confusion is fun to mess around with, isn't it? Got one in, one more hit in before it ended. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna use Toad Soul. I don't think I need it. Oh, this move. I tried to do it. All right, and anti damage. We'll use another fire. Yeah, see you later, Hawkhorn Dog. We're gonna be facing the final boss. So but yeah, have a good have a good rest of your day, Hawkhorn Dog. Ugh, your angry emotions, how magnificent! Anger and hate. These what bear the greatest power of in the world, and they're the very root of the dark power you de de despise. The time has come. Dr. Regal's research is nearly complete. And once Soulnet is complete, the world will be shrouded in anger and hate. Soulnet? It can't be. Again, why is he wanting to do this? We gotta stop Regal quick. At last, Soul Server is complete. All that is left is to transfer Nebula Gray into the Soul. <laughs> our time has come. Well, Hikari, the research of our fathers will be complete at last. After so many decades, no doubt they'll, they too will. You're wrong. This is not what our fathers wanted. <laughs> yes, it's true. There's a slight difference from what they hoped for. But that's a trivial matter. Solnet was meant to link the souls of all humankind. And that is what I will do. Then our theory will be proven right. What more could a scientist want? No scientist would, de would delight in finishing defective research. Defective? You know nothing. The theory behind Solnet is solid. It is not humankind. The medium of Solnet. The one that's defective. Or is it not? Is it not humankind? Okay. <laughs> I shall link people's souls to a soul soul. And if a soul damaging program somehow found its way into the server, the fiend. There's no firewall protecting the human soul. It's full of. Security holes. I should have seen this coming. Why didn't I destroy the Hikari report? Forgive me, Lan. It's not your fault. No scientist would ever throw away such superb research. After all, humans really are such weak creatures. Your guilt will be gained once you're tainted by evil. Then together, we can watch. Watch as the world's tainted by evil. failed you. Go quickly. We'll fall behind with the others. You and Mega Man are the only ones who can stop Regal now. Got it. Let's go, Mega Man. I'm counting on ya. We'll be there soon. Almost there. Actually, I'm gonna make a save. Where is he? What was that? Hey, there's a sound coming from above. What's up there? Maybe there's a secret passage to the floor above. Hey, okay, let's check it out. Uh, I 
of fishy devices are arranged in products like a story in case as an electric warrant. I can jack in. Mod illegally modified pets and dark chips. Devices of dubious natures. Alright. Let's take a look and see if we can find out blue mystery data over here. This server is also used for hacking. We don't have any way any way to stop it. After all, we're just following we just follow commands. I should keep my voice down. But did you know this server is linked to a, with a number of suspicious computers? You could say it's a dark network. Oh, I don't have an unlocker. I can't open it anymore. Alright. Is this EX? This is EX, right? Yeah. We have not found any level 2 variant viruses yet. Kind of interesting. It's normally a normal battle network, they would. This Nebby isn't one of the Nebula's Nebbies. Are you okay? Who are you? Did you come to rescue me? Did any other Nebbies get caught? The yellow one, a girl, and one with a who's really polite. It's Guts Man! Where are they? No idea. Suddenly a black hole just opened up in the air. It sucked all of them inside. Vigo. Did you come here to take them out? You got it. You promised me something. What? Look at me. I'm not gonna make it. I promise you'll win. Defeat Regal for me. He's... he's in the room above us. Operator. Please, check out the middle chip case. The red chip in the second row ho opens a hidden path. I hid your fe friend's pets. It's on the other side of the case. I promise you to take Regal down. Better go, man. Let's do it. I guess we had to do that? Probably. Random encounters. Uh, uh, thanks for the follow, Spider Sonic. Thank you. Yeah. I think most people do. And not just with me, just in general. But yeah, thanks for the follow. Uh, most of the time, I tend to play a variety of games so like after i'm done here with battle network 5 i'll be jumping to uh paper mario thousand year door remake and that's all good but yeah i tend to jump between games so that chip on the s second shelf of that chip case hey look it really is a switch here it goes what was that sound oh and then after Paper Mario, I should be going back to Battle Network 6. You know, that's kind of the plan right now. That's what it was. That Regal and my dad are here somewhere. Ready for the final battle, Mega Man? We owe it to ourselves and the rest to defeat Regal. Roger. Let's go, Lan. Jack into one of those cases. You see a green Navi? Yeah, that's who I had to talk to to find out the switch. He wasn't a part of Nebula, but I guess they could have manipulated him. Hey guys, I go crush Nebula. <laughs> the boy's becoming a man. Evil will fail or fall. I believe in you. You can do it, huh? Let me have the first interview after you crush Nebula. Thanks, guys. This is it, lad. Counting on you. Barrel, guys, when my dad was first kidnapped, I intended to rescue him and re crush Nebula myself. But I wouldn't have made it without you. I got this far thanks to your help. Mega Man and I can't lose now. After all, I have you guys at my side. I'll take your spirit with me. With the power of friendship, once again, defeating evil. I'm sure. Okay. Mega Man, let's move. Gotcha. Is this a jack in board? There's no doubt used for dubious purposes. Oh, okay. Let's go for Nebula Gra- Am I forgetting something? Am I forgetting something? Oh, the pets. There we go. Okay. We found Dex's males and Yana's pets. Now we can move it. Hop 
off the stream, but we'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, thanks for showing up. About to fight Nebula Gray. Boom! Yeah. Dad! Dad, it's me, Lan. Lan? You must stop Rigo. He's going, he's going to use SoulNet to taint the world with evil. Yes, I'm installing Nebula Gray on Soul Silver. Soul, Soul Server. Server, not Silver. This isn't Pokemon. Or is it? Regal! Hikari, you raised quite a fine boy, but soon you won't even recognize your dearest child. Right, get him! You must stop Regal and his evil plan! But, Dad, you're hurt! We'll take care of Dr. Hikari. Guys! Leave him with us. You go get Regal. Got it. Regal, Mega Man and I are here to stop your evil plan. <laughs> your struggle has been in vain. Soulnet is active. Soulnet is active. Welcome to the world of Soulnet. Kind of makes me think of what happened in Battle Network 2. This is Soulnet. When the digital world and the real world were fusing. I can't take this. What's happening? What's this feeling pouring into me? I've never felt so angry, huh? But why, huh? What's the sadness? I want to cry. Ugh. What have you done? Hmm. So it hasn't affected you. You're not wearing Magno Metal, are you? I don't know what that is, but I do have Gramps' amulet. You do know what Magno Metal is. I should have known. You made an amulet out of Magno Metal. Only material able to block Soul Server signal. Hmm, no matter. My plan is almost complete. All that's left is to install Nebula Gray on the Soul, on Soul Server. Land, do you know what this is? This contains Nebula Gray. You literally just said that. The dark program I've developed. People around the globe are now linked to the Soul Server over this over Soul Net. What do you think will happen if I install Nebula Gray? It has the power to amplify negative energy. Its soul's already full of emotion. But if you do that, I will have tainted the world with evil. <laughs> Nebula Gray installed. So... Lay, let's jack in. We must stop Regal and his evil plan. Yes, come to me, Mega Man. Regal, you won't get away with this. Mega Man, you must delete ne Nebula Gray. So all souls are linked, and he created Nebula Gray to make everyone evil. Okay, then what? What's your goal after that? I don't get it. It's like, okay. You taint everyone with, and everyone becomes evil. What's your goal after? You? What, what are you gonna try to do? What is your purpose? Is it like some sort of metaphorical, like, when I don't know. It, it makes no sense to me, honestly. What is it, Mega Man? I feel funny. It's also kind of cool that they brought Magnum Metal back into the plot, I guess. I'm on fire! Whoosh! These are the flames of our malice. Blizzard Man! Whoosh! This is as far as you go. Mega Man, we're gonna consume you in our flames of malice. <laughs> We've come back three times just to try to defeat you. Right, Cloud Man? I mean, Shade Man's come back multiple times even before that. Bow number four. That's right. Mega Man we won't less rest until we defeat him. Mega Man, it ends right here. Screen Divide. We suddenly heard your voice as we warned the dark reaches of space. Colonel and Nightman? 
We'll take care of this. Your voice has drawn everyone from darkness. Everyone? Somehow. Whoosh! I'm gonna make Mega Man pay for it. Good push! Hey, look, Glide's actually doing something. Gutsman, roll, Glide! Colonel told us what was going on. Mega Man, you guys already risked it all the way to get this far. We have to do our part. We can handle this. You keep going. So relieved you guys are okay. Guys, Glide's actually doing something. That never happens. The flames died out. Thanks, everyone. Mega Man, let's go. I mean, Mega Man wasn't really calling out for them, and he didn't really say much during that situation, so, like, I don't know why they heard his voice. I know it's like the shonen trope, but I don't, I don't know if it's shonen, but I know it's the trope, but still. Just kind of feels like an asshole. More like they have the, they didn't do the proper build-up, I guess. Nebula Gray? That's right. Several years ago, I successfully digitized man's evil soul. Then, I then amplified that data and built a system that converts it into various forms. That's Nebula Gray. Dark chips are made in the plant below by uh, graphiting Nebula Gray's amplified evil souls on chip data. So you're saying the power of dark chips was once human? Exactly. The dark power will endure while humans rock this earth. As long as it endures, the dark galaxy will continue to grow. Just try and stop it. Mega Man, this is it. Destroy Nebula Gray. Roger. <laughs> Humans are their own worst enemy. Hate breeds hate, which in turn breeds dark power for all eternity. Like the universe. Behold, Nebula Gray's man's evil soul. What the? Honestly, Nebula Grey has a pretty cool design. What's that? It's an evil soul in the 204. Can you match its power? Go, Nebula Grey! Spread your evil! Land. Okay, this is it. Last operation. Set. Execute. Let's see. I'll go Tomahawk Soul, but I know this one won't work. It's like Duo again. So the main target is actually like the floating spirit orb. Like that's the main target. M trying to aim for anything else won't do anything. Oh, I couldn't, uh, use area grab. I'm gonna lose it. Wait. Let's get rid of a few chips. Aqua World's not gonna help me. Let's 
set up anti damage and get more. I need some healing. I don't have much healing to work yet. Kinda interesting if we can paralyze him. Okay, good. I can't use some of this. But we, we can get rid of a few chips by doing this. Guardian. We're trying that again. That was very close. Luckily, we can skip cutscenes. I know most of my folder doesn't really work, but it's close enough. It's good to know we can paralyze him. That actually makes a difference. I was trying to wait for it in this chip before I attempted to use the dark wide shot. But it wasn't popping up. Now that I have an idea of his attack moves. Let's try this again. Granted, I couldn't remember like how he actually fought, so it's been a while. Uh, let's start with... Um, you know what? Let's, let's get rid of Mark Cannon. I guess I'll get anti-damage in. Hold on. Okay. Do I try to get rid of Aqua Boil? Yeah, let's get rid of Aqua Boil. It's not gonna be that helpful. Stand too close there. Well, Book shoe would have actually been nice. Okay. So I am gonna go with the tiles back. Oh, he 
was off screen. It didn't do anything. Stay in this form to heal up. We're we'll trying. Okay. One more turn. Um. Must divide. actually have float shoe equipped. Oh, I forgot I actually had it equipped. That's on me. Number soul it is. Oh, that is on me. That's on my view. I got two. Okay. I can get roll going. Get some health back. I think he's still in the back. Oh, never mind. Well, I got some health back. That works. Is it over? Do not underestimate the dark power. Mega Man! Mega Man! <laughs> if I can't beat you in battle, then I'll taint you with evil and make you my servant. Ah! Don't give in to the evil soul! Fight Mega Man! It's futile. Mega Man may resist, but it will still be tainted by evil. Ah! Take in the evil. Become my nephew, and together we shall rule this world. Glenn, forgive me. I can't. Mega Man! Don't give up! <laughs> You've taken off the Magna Metal Amulet, so you are prepared to accept Solna and its evil. Ugh. Mega Man, hear the voice of my soul. I see. You're trying to use Solna to speak directly to Mega Man's soul. Well, it's futile. All the world's souls are gathering. Mega Man's hearing you would... Hearing you here would be like finding a pebble lost in a vast desert. Mega Man, I mean, Hub, why can't I get through to you? Ugh. Lan, that, that voice, could it be? You and Mega Man are always linked. Do not forget it. You and Mega Man are always linked. Of course we are. Mega Man, we are always linked. 
We don't need Soul Net. Right, Mega Man? <laughs> Who is helping Lan? What the? Mega Man, what's going on? Uh, he activated the hub. The hub? Thanks, Lan. It's just like you said, Lan. We're always linked. This is like the fifth time. Even without Soul Man. Hub. I'm not done yet. We activated full synchro. We know a power much stronger than the evil soul. Nothing's more powerful than evil. Be gone! Regal, your evil plan ends here. It's gone. The dark power vanished. No, this cannot be. It's over. Thank you, Hub. Oh no. <laughs> you can't destroy it permanently. It is the dark power. Your history this time, Mega Man. Mega Man! Ugh. Mega Man! C Colonel! Ugh. Mega Man, finish off Nebula Gray, quick! Yeah, I won't last long. Okay. Hurry! Uh, my Mega Buster won't fire! If he's that exhausted then, is this the end? Everyone, help Mega Man! Give him the energy! Use the spirit bomb! Transfer your power to Mega Man. We're all linked by our souls. We can do it. Focus your power into your souls. We are get, we are using the power of the Spirit Bomb. Your power is pouring into me. This is the literal power of friendship. Now, Mega Man, fire! It's over this time. Mega Buster! Supreme Commander of Metopia's Network Corps. What are you doing? So someone has me to destroy his souls. But it seems the job's already done. The annihilation of Nebula Gray is making the plant destroyed. And explosions are bringing the volcano to life. The soul soul will be unindented. Un in unindented by lava in about ten minutes. <laughs> so my grand plan has come to this. Get out as fast as you can. Yikes! The volcano's closer to erupting than I thought. Yeah. Dad! Great work, Lan, Mega Man. Thanks, now let's get out of here quick! Lan, I'm sorry, but you go on ahead. I promise I'll be right behind. What? N no! As a scientist and my dad's son, must speak with Regal. Okay. But I better see you soon. Yes, I promise. Time short, go! Roger! Regal. Hikari, did you come to laugh at my face? <laughs> we'll have your fill. The failed plan has opened my eyes to what Soulnet is. It's hoped passed to us from our fathers, and in turn, from us to the next generation. It's also a message telling us to build a world where people have strong souls that can conquer evil. <laughs> you stay behind to and risk your life just to say that? Fool, such a day will never come. My father, Dr. Wiley, sold his soul to evil. He tried to destroy the world. It's true. He fell into evil ways, but he never tried to complete Soulnet and use it for evil. He 
knows? Maybe he still has hope for Himiko. Bah! Nothing is nothing but ideal speculation. Maybe speculation, but I like to believe in one. And in you, Rigo. I want to pass that hope on to the next generation, if we succeed. Who knows how long it will take. But as long as this hope survives, our father's wish should come true. It is our duty to convey the hope of our predecessors to the next generation. Come with me, Rigo. Face judgment for what you have done. You must convey our father's hopes. Oh! Believe in me? He sacrificed himself just to tell me that? The tremors are getting closer. Together, the end is near. The next generation. If only I have realized sooner. But what am I saying? I've shrouded my soul in evil. There's no going back now. It is not too late. Father, why? Why are you? To fulfill my duty, both as a scientist and as your father. Soul Net, restart. <sighs> what are you doing? Soul Net won't activate me. Won't affect me. I have Magnum Metal. Just who do you think designed Soul Silver? Soul Silver, overload. <coughs> Now I'm going to send an impulse to your memory center. It will delete the last ten years or so of memories. You shall start over with a clean slate. Ah! I did not raise you right, but now you can make amends. Beryl, I leave the rest to you. All right. Why is Beryl working with Wily? That's strange. Three days after the Battle of Regal, the eruption on Mount Bellinus destroyed the Dark Chip factory without a trace. I thought Dad had been lost with it, but he had actually been rescued and taken to, the, to a hospital. He's now recovering at home. Of course, Dad and I said together, We're home to Mom. Mom freaked out when she saw Dad all covered in bruises, but she was so happy to see him, especially now that he was home all day. I'm happy too, of course. The ceremony for disbanding Team Colonel is today. My dad and I came together. Good job defeating Nebula, people. Nebula is no more, and we're, and we're recovering the dark chips. Team Colonel's work is complete. Hey, girl, what happened to Regal? Not sure, but I do know that Nebula's leader, Dr. Regal, is no, no longer on blocks, blocks this turn. He was a fiend, but I can't help but feel sorry for him. Before I retire our team, let's hear a few words from Dr. Nakari. If you would, Doctor. The world's been saved thanks to you. Well done, everyone. On a separate note, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the new scientist I hired by Sila. Is it me? Huh? I'm nervous. It's like meeting a new classmate. Introducing. But, Beryl, didn't you just say that Regal no longer walks this earth? But I said Nebula's leader first. That must mean... Scilab's newest addition is Dr. Regal. Hello, everyone. I am Regal. The past ten years or so of his memory are gone, but he still retains his skills. He's beginning a new life as a law-abiding scientist. You sure about this? <laughs> Regal's, Regal's turned over a new leaf. I see. And everything's okay. I don't believe this. Team Colonel is now officially retired. I feel a bit sad for some reason. But I sure had a time of my life. I return home with fond memories. This is back to real life. We'll probably meet again as a as bonus. <laughs> now I can probably return home. I'm gonna tell Raul how I fought alongside real heroes. He knows Raul? Oh, they're, they're probably from the same tribe. I never knew this. This battle has made me feel like a real man, huh? You're gonna do it, huh? Miss Mariko, wait for me. Too bad there's no camera here. The Nebula battle might make me a famous reporter. Straight to stardom for me. Our team disbanded, and its members returned to their daily lives. 
Each one had a unique spirit and was fun to be with. I'm a bit sad to see them go. No, I shouldn't be sad. After all, what's wrong, lad? You look sad. I'm not sad. After all, they're always interlinked. <laughs> You're right. Well, I should get going, too. My work's done here. Beryl, who are you, anyway? Nobody special. Just Beryl. Beryl! Will we meet again? We can meet anytime. After all, we're all interlinked, right? Right? Yep. Hey, guys. Lan, you're a rough and tough hero. I just knew you could do it. Welcome back, Lan. This is the fifth or sixth time we've saved the world. I love to see the smiles on kids' faces. Let's build a future where all kids can smile like that. Yes, for that is our life's work. Huh? Is vacation over already? It is now that Nebula Sweat is gone. It's back to class for us elementary school kids. Really? I didn't have any time to play. But what's going on in the net? I found this place called Vision Burst. Man, who have thought you just saved the world? That's Lan for ya. Hey, Lan, I need a vacation too. Don't be a party pooper. We haven't played with Gutsman in a long time, haven't we? Haven't we? Yeah, but. Right? Well then, what are we waiting for? Check in, Mega Man X. the main plot for Battle Network 5. So, I don't remember if in Team Proto Man, if, I'm pretty sure Wily shows up, but I don't know if Beryl does. Because I think that whole section of the game was extended for this game, for Team Colonel. So I think there is some differences in the ending. I'm not sure by how much though. Yeah. Way better time with Battle Network 5 than with 4. Granted, Battle Network 4, it was a quick story, but then you have to play it four times. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's not a good thing. It, the whole multiple playthroughs is what made Battle Network 4 so, such a slog to get through. This is a way better experience. And I really like the Liberation missions. I found those a lot of fun. Yeah. Going on a little bit longer than normal, but... Granted, uh, last couple of streams I had to end sooner. So, probably would have found that fine. But yeah, I don't know how long... Uh, this will take. You know, freaking uh, ending credits take a little bit. And also, you usually can't skip a new battle mode for whatever reason. But yeah, starting next time, I think tomorrow, once something comes up, I don't think there will be, we'll be starting post game. We'll also check, the patch, check out the patch cards and download chips. But we get to explore more of the undernet. At least I'm pretty sure there's more to the internet. Unless there's another secret area. That might be what I'm thinking of. There's more to explore because this is Battle Network. No, Battle Network 5 is a good game. I'd say it's probably my third favorite. Something like that. Like 6, 3, and then 5. Something like that. Top 3 for sure. I'm kind of upset that they took out the Liberation missions, but, you know, I'm uh, not many people actually did like it. 25 hours for the main campaign, okay. Oh, I got eight Dark Chips, okay. Guts, guts! The net's sure full of surprises. Welcome to ACT ACDC Town, the year Mail and Dex were born. Year Mail and Dex were born, okay. It would be 11 years ago. So Miss Yai hasn't even... Born here. 
It feels strange to be standing here in ACDC town. Let's go explore old ACDC. Yeah, I'm in. Me too. Yeah, let's go. After enjoying ACDC town 11 years in the past. Well, shall we head back? Who could that be? Maybe it's leftover Nebula agents? On your toes, everyone. Here it comes. Huh? Oh, it's Gal. What the? Gal, you're safe. So that's it. Mega Man's weakness is dogs. No, that's not. No, it's not. Why did you flip over when Gal barked at him? It's just... Whoa! See? Gal sorry you too, Gutsman. You just jumped too, Mega Man. No, I didn't. Whoa! <laughs> Land, Mega Man. I want to tell you and your friends something. The adults are trying hard to build, build a world of mutual understanding. There will be many difficulties along. I think it will take a really long time before we achieve what we seek. We know, no matter how hard it is, or how long it takes, our generation and the next will carry on the hopes of our forefathers, until the day the ideal world is reality. Right, guys? Right! Of course! Same here. Father, the hope of, a, the hope of an ideal world has taken root in a new generation. One day, it will surely come. We're having a party at our house. You're all invited. There's lots of good eats waiting. A party? Well, we better hurry and jack out then. Right? Let's go, guys. And Gal gets to live on, I guess. I guess so. And that is it. And with that clear data, I'm gonna wrap up. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Stuff on 64 Stream Archives. Next time, post game stuff.